greet in a way. Yeah, and I like it to be. I think an homage is the right the right phrase there. I want to right. reference it, but I don't want to. Oh, I love that. Sorry, so I was just trying, ASMR ASMR right right trying to do another ASMR okay, thing. Okay, I love it. It's not quite as fun with red wine as it is with <laughs> sparkling. <laughs> <laughs> with red wine, it's just like. <laughs> Listen to it. Yeah, it's just like nothing. <laughs> well, Listen except the pop. Let's hear the pop. Here we go. Pop. It's almost there. <laughs> Got it. <gasps> I'm sorry. That's going to pop. That's, <laughs> that's, gonna gonna pop. pop. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be a sound bite in an intro of some sort. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> I sound amazing. I don't know about you guys, but I sound great. <laughs> Let's start recording. <clears throat> we have plenty of drinks if you need to have a drink. <laughs> I do have a, I put out these suckers here. Excellent. What's a Rye whiskey. We're gonna, I'm going to ask questions today. Ask all <laughs> so the to questions. Start off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, introduce yourself. Introduce us. Yeah. Welcome back to Two Dads in a Pod. We're trying different angles today. We got <clears throat> myself. We got uh, let's see. We got Walter. He's on the he's on the camera. Look 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 at the camera. When I, always, I you know I I can never get it right. But <laughs> I always because I always think I look cross eyed whenever I look at it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got. Let me make sure it's not going too crazy here in a second. Let's see. Too right. That's enough. And then we got Max. Our Yo. guest today. Hello. What's up? Yeah. That's our guest today. Our Thank guest you for today. having me. Who uh, apparently brought some uh, some liquid here? Oh, many goodies, <laughs> goodies. I love you looking at the display. <laughs> I know. I'm looking at the display because I can see all the, the alcohol. Thing. From the my angle, from dope. my angle, it looks like it, I, you, yeah. I can barely even see the monitor because it's so right. Yeah. Oh yeah, I made it's a tower like, in well, front of funny. you. Yeah, no, that's perfect. That's funny. It's a great tower though. And then uh, the other angles I'm working with is this one right here. If we all want to be on the same screen, excellent. Let's try new stuff. Or this one. Man, we are sexy. Yeah. I think the beards are doing it. Right? <laughs> the beards are really beard, like bringing it all beard together. Cast. Beard cast. <laughs> Three beards <laughs> in a beard. And then the <laughs> and then we, we didn't do this one. This is this one. We were joking around like, you ever see Family Guy? No, I've never seen Family Guy. Yeah, of, you see, of course you've <laughs> seen Family Guy. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> Your mind's going to be blown, man. <laughs> what is Family Guy? <laughs> so, I heard You know, it's like, no, off to Trisha Takanawa for the, oh, yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah, the, and then the we got this. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, those are great transitions. Oh, it's excellent. Star no. wipe. We should have a star wipe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Max, tell us a little bit about yourself and what, 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 what. What motivated you to bring all this stuff? Oh, well, <laughs> you asked me to bring uh, a bottle, so I <laughs> thought I'd brought I thought I would bring several bottles and many cans. So, um so the I more work the merrier. Yeah. yeah, so uh I'll tell you a little bit about what what I do. So I work with me, my girlfriend, and then our business partner Zach and uh his girlfriend Zoe, our other business partner. We all make, we all work together. <coughs> and you're very aware of this oh, because yeah. you are also doing the same with Lights, camera, action. Yeah, and I am doing. We are doing side quest sellers. Let me get. Let me get it. Catch the light. And, <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. You know what? Let me, let me let me see if I can side put side quest sellers. Side quest built -in sellers. Camera. Just like his is a a theater movie yeah. themed Check. brand. Ours is a video game uh, theme brand. I, 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 I caught that. I figured I you would. That. I figured I you would. That. Let me see if I can I do this real quick. Is the label supposed to look like Super Nintendo style? Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, yeah, I see. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell Super Nintendo, though. I don't want to... Uh, yeah, they're not going to hear this. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to see some of this. It's not like this is public or anything on no, like YouTube no, and Spotify and, and Anchor. And, and honestly, it is actually a totally original design. We all collaborated together. That's awesome, dude. See, that's... I've, I've always wanted camera. to see something like that because I'm such into video games. And, like, that's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, That's you know, perfect. it's it's I, kind of incredible. I barely um, noticed the, the controller. I'm like, oh, dude, this is taking me back. Yeah, we want it to be, you know, subtle, but once you see it, you know, it's sort of a little bit on the nose, which, uh, right. you know, it's incredible how many brands of beer there are that are all video game themed. Mm -hmm. And as far as I've seen, a couple wineries that have done a, 
a wine or two that are v- video game theme. Like they'll do one one offs or something. Mm-hmm. But uh, we wanted to do a full brand, just totally. You know, that's kind of what we 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 all spend so much time together playing video games. We do a lot of uh, oh Jackbox is the one that we do a lot oh, of Jackbox okay, games. Jackbox, we yeah. love those. So what, we do what's a lot Jackbox? Of like Jackbox a, are like these party games. Yeah, right? it's like party games where basically we all go on Discord. One person like shares their screen. And um, like this, yeah, <laughs> sort of like that, a little <laughs> bit like that, exactly. And then they they share their their uh, their monitor where there's like a game going on, and you all play on your phone. So right. our, my huh. favorite one is the the t-shirt. I forget what it's called, but it's like a t-shirt design one where you just have like a timer where you have to draw as many little shitty pictures as you can. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, and then there's sayings with it, and it creates funny t-shirts. And I don't know, it they're silly little little games that you kind of feel like you're hanging out with each other even when you're hours away, you know, Mm -hmm. that sort of thing. I mean, you guys probably understand, but as you get older, it's harder to be in the same room playing video games with your friends. So I'm very appreciative of games like that. Yeah, everything's remote now. Twitch. Yeah, yeah. I feel like there's another platform that was getting pretty busy too. Oh, uh, there was a Discord. No, there was... um, Oh God! What was it? It was like Slider or something like that. It was getting really, really popular briefly, and then it just utterly failed. Right, it like qu- very quickly. I remember they like signed some huge deal with that ninja guy, and then it. Like yeah, I I heard about collapsed. that because the uh, the goal for them was to bring all his followers over yeah. to the platform, and everyone's like, nah, ninja's a, ninja's a traitor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. No one that's so funny. I, I, I heard it on like on an all uh, all in podcast with like. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it was those like people. A big I, don't know deal. I forget what it was. Called. I know their names. I just can't think of them right now. I can't remember. He's the oh, Fortnite wow. guy, right? Is that, is that what he does? <coughs> Apparently, no one can remember, and that's why it didn't do well. So. <laughs> <laughs> What's his actual name? Like Ninja that's was the only thing. Yeah, it was Ninja's thing. I, I bet we're wrong. I bet it, it wasn't even Ninja. I bet it was some other guy. Yeah, I think. Yeah, let's just keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> D- during, anyway. during, yeah, during the pandemic, um, I a lot of names started popping up that like. I didn't, they were already, they've been around for a while, like Machine Gun Kelly. I didn't know who the hell that was yeah. until Megan Fox showed up in the picture. <laughs> I'm like, what, what, what's you going know, on? You know, I got a, I'm a little guilty of, I did, I was very aware of MGK just because I'm super in touch with hip hop and stuff. I oh, love okay. the hip hop yeah. community and stuff. And he actually was a very well known rapper well before the more recent stuff. Obviously, right. became really popular with the diss of Eminem, which was so funny. That was hilarious. So he got he got ripped and went all the way to pop punk. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's why that explains that. <laughs> but you know, he you can't hate. He ended up with Megan Fox. So you know, who who really lost there? Who knows? You know, so I saw Megan Fox one time in person. We were really? in we were in Vegas at the mm-hmm. Nobu uh-huh. at Caesar's Palace, uh-huh. and uh, we it was for CinemaCon. We were all sitting in a circle, and then. You know that one uh, situation where a guy goes, "Don't look now," but there's that person over there. Oh, right. Everybody yeah, yeah. looks. Of course, yeah, everybody's right. gonna look. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. And I was the only one like that didn't look <laughs> for some reason. I felt like, oh, she's not gonna notice. <laughs> and, and then I finally look over, and she's like, "Get me in seat and stuff like that." And then, like a few drinks in, I, I was a little tipsy. Like, I gotta go pee, you know. So I went to go pee, and on the way out, she was going to the restroom with her security guard. Security guard's like trying to like make sure <laughs> the coast is clear. And I'm like, I'm like, in you my head, one of those in my head, rolls. in my head, I almost like started like, yeah. <laughs> like over exaggerating. Yeah. Like, oh yes, go ahead. You know, should have asked her to be on the pod. <laughs> that that would have been funny. Way before I think, right? <laughs> <laughs> did you ever? Did you see her fingers? No, no. Guys, she was. I think she was wearing that? like I a did, black dress. I didn't hear about that. What yeah. happened? If, oh, the 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 no, thumb. Just, yeah, like it's just the yeah, this thing. Fingers. You know, <laughs> we all got. I got funny fingers and toes. Who doesn't? Yeah, everybody. I have crooked, to- big toes. Like, <laughs> it's gonna happen. All right, I'm gonna open this bottle before it gets too warm. Yeah, yeah. If it gets yeah. Yeah. sparkling wine, fun fact, guys. Sparkling wine. If it gets like a little warm, it's gonna foam more. It's gonna pop. Go everywhere. <laughs> Let me uh, scoop. I feel like there's a lot of innuendos that we can say in there. So many. Get it Go too. For it. Get it too hot. It gets extra foamy. You know? <laughs> no, pops more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave the that expert opinion to you. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Yeah, what here. website did you learn that on? Uh, something dot edu. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was an educational one. Right? <laughs> yeah, that was an educational <laughs> one. Nah, it should be fine. It's not gonna pop. Oh, no. Watch it breaks the camera. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> put the camera that. on him so he can see. Oh the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good pop on that one. Oh yeah, let me. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I hate when I snap the thing, but I snap the thing in my shaky hands. Uh, what do you need? My keys, real oh. quick. 
There's like a little twisty, and if you twist it too fast, sometimes you could pop it off, and it's all good. Oh, just got gotta it. gotta untwist this bad boy to get this cage off. There we go. This is the official way to open sparkling wine. Use your keys. Use your keys. Oh, here we go. Beautiful. And you take the cage off. Here we go. All right, everybody, watch out. Let's get a good shot of this one. <laughs> I hope I don't make a mess of your studio. Just I'll kidding. scoot back Just a little kidding. bit. Right? <laughs> so everybody <laughs> likes to do the big shot off, but it's actually a really good sparkling wine. It just could should just go ch- like ch- a little bit. Oh, know? like SMR. Pop put put it up to oh, yeah, <laughs> like yeah, SMR. Yeah, that's a good okay. call. That's a good call. Oh yeah, everybody's supposed to talk like this. Yeah. Yo. Oh. Doesn't even. <laughs> you just see me off off to the side, like fall down because I got like shot or something. <laughs> see, proper sparkling wine, you don't spill any. That was pretty Dang. cool. Right. I never thought we'd venture off into AS- is it ASMR? <laughs> AS- I think it's it ASMR. Is. Yeah, it, it is ASMR. ASMR. I've seen I've seen some. Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, of course. We'll do more. Yeah, I got one for you too. And after that, you, if you want to try mine, I can open mine. But absolutely, I would love to. Yeah, I came up with a I so came up with a little jingle or not a little jingle, a little <laughs> commercial a slogan. <laughs> slogan. Yeah, that's right. I did come up with a little slogan. Oh, why is my it's probably very so safe weird? having all this liquid around all did these I electronics. I think I messed up my camera. You press record, right? It it is recording. I'm just my, my camera angle. I think. Right, cheers, gents. Cool. Cheers. Oh yeah, thanks cheers, a lot. Cheers, 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 a great one. I heard cheers. you're supposed to look at each other in the eyes when you do that. Okay. <laughs> oh no! He's just poisoned or what? <laughs> don't do what? I don't know. Why would you supposed to do that? Mm. 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 It's like just it's like soda. Should just be nice and crispy and yeah. a little appley and just uh, easy drinking. Yeah, I drinking. get that. That's you know pretty what? good. A little dry. It's not quick. sweet. All right. It's yeah. bugging me. Anyway, meanwhile, Miguel's finished uh, his camera. So you said that this is um, this one right here. Did you have other video game themed ones, or is that no, one? No, this is our first one. That's your so, first one, okay. You yeah, got ideas for other ones? Are you guys thinking of that? We do. We do have some up-and-coming ideas that we're kind of working on right now. But we want basically the next thing we want to do, we kind of want to do a, a version of this, but with uh, a sparkling rosé. Right. And it would be more of like a rose gold sort of a uh-huh. sort of a thing and then we got a few a couple things that we we're working on that i you know we don't really want to divulge too much yet. right okay all right so we'll have to, we'll have a, to do a follow-up i'm a huge legend of zelda fan so I'm, every, every time i think of, of of you know that i'm just like oh, I wonder speaking if of which did you guys see the new trailer i did yes. oh man breath of the wild 2 coming up what, yeah. what was it called tears um, of the kingdom tears of the kingdom i cannot wait i am i'm gonna i'm gonna Tear, I'm gonna cry everywhere when that comes out. I'm so excited. <laughs> Put yeah, so right, much time right now. I'm just waiting for the wild. new Pokemon. That's what I'm that's right what I'm next right now. Right, I am also big. I also am a big Pokemon guy. Love me the Pokemons, the Pokemans, as they say. <laughs> oh, I remember my fourth grade teacher used to do that when we were doing the cards when they first came out. You know, mm-hmm. remember that? Like, are we Pokemon? No, but you remember that you had the little doll, the little uh, figurines like this that were hard to get. They were like this big. And I remember everybody would just like bring them to school, show them off. And when Pokemon got banned at school because people were getting yeah. stuff stolen or trading, and I remember I never you, went. No, no, they, they, you know you went through that. Mm-mm. Damn. Okay. I'm not deprived. The only bit. thing that was I was told to like put away or like so Yu Gi Oh cards they come in. They we used to have decks in order to like duel each other, right? <laughs> did you have the disc by the way? No, no, no. You know? oh, I think I did. I can't remember. I never actually <laughs> used it. But it's I had time to do I had um I had a, a little holster yeah. out <laughs> for the deck. <laughs> Fuck yeah. But the weird part is I didn't have my cards that day, so it was just a holster. <laughs> but I wore it because I thought it was badass, right? Well it is badass. I'm pretty yeah. sure it looked badass. I'm not gonna Yeah, and you know, and <laughs> I remember walking into uh one of my classrooms and she's like, What is that? Like the teacher like called me out, like what? what? What is that? She thought it was like for one of the yo-yo holsters because a lot of people, a lot of kids oh, in middle school no. had a yo-yo oh, phase yeah. too. And I'm like, it's for my my yo-yo cards. <laughs> Empty yo-yo. Cards. And she's like, put that away. Jesus. I don't have cards <laughs> on me. Like, what do you want? like? Who, what? <laughs> it drew, it drew too much attention to me. Yeah, I guess it was just one of those like confusing moments of my 
middle school career. Right. Too many, man. Too many didn't have the freaking shield. Thing I would have. I would have dueled the shit out of her. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Miguel was like. We brought up Pokemon cards, and he was like, ah, "I don't even have any idea what you guys are talking about." But, but, but Yu Gi Oh cards, though. Yo, Yu Gi Oh, though. Yu Gi Oh. <laughs> No, it's, I was going to say, he didn't understand Pokemon because he was probably a Digimon kid. No, no, no. I, I, I did Pokemon. <laughs> you know, I didn't do Digimon. <laughs> I did not do Digimon. <laughs> there was... Um, no, him. I, I know no, I know him did, but I'm, I'm just, I, I'm I, just did saying, all, I just I, I did all of them. <laughs> We're talking about this. And yeah, no, we always... So, this is, this always I, happens. Here's my story about how I got my first Pokemon card. All right, let's hear it. Let's hear um, it. First... I'll put some little background. It's elementary school, obviously. Elementary <laughs> <laughs> school, and w- I mean, my mom would give us like a couple bucks for like Reese's or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I remember uh, I had one of our classmates; she got like a deck of cards. Or she had like multiple cards. She was selling them for two bucks each, right? Entrepreneur, right? And I'm like, cool. I'll buy. And she had a Pikachu. I'm like, okay, I'll get Pikachu, the original like fat Pikachu, right? And I'm like, yeah, sweet, I got that. Pikachu. And that's where, like, the trading world opened up for me. Somebody's like, I'll give you a Magnemite and something else. I can't remember the second one. Mm-hmm. For that, that Pikachu, I'm like, all right. So I traded t- mm-hmm. one for two. And I traded those two for, you know, and it just, my, just my, my car, from $2, I went from a stag. And then I did the one thing that um, that every, like, little kid forgets to, or forgets to do, is take him out of his pocket when he leaves them in his pants oh, and his no. mom does laundry. An entire deck was just ruined, and I was like, "All right." And then that's when I started buying packs. When I, was right. I was gonna say, "Is that when you switched to Yu-Gi-Oh instead?" Because you're like, "No, I Yu-Gi-Oh was uh, middle school." No, that was just <laughs> when he got addicted to gambling. Really? Yeah, it was. It was. It was a problem. <laughs> I actually, I'm terrible at gambling. I can't go to. The, I can't go to the casinos. I'll lose all the money. <laughs> all the money. All the money. I I remember uh, we, the last time we went to Vegas last year or earlier this year. I can't remember. 2020 to 2021 it's all it's all 2020 yeah pretty much but i remember going to like this uh roulette table and i'm i like roulette tables it's fine you know uh more than one person but you know like you get like what six seven people it's pretty fun you start having a conversation absolutely and as we're walking by this roulette table it was like empty i'm like fuck i don't like a lot of people so i'll go to that one and the guy was just waiting for somebody to bet i'm like all right i'll uh can can i put Money down. I was like, oh yeah, min- minimum was a hundred dollars. So I you, so I put a hundred dollars yeah. on black, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, all right, cool. And then I'm black, got two hundred, and then I'm just like, and Crystal was with me. She, like, all right, let's go. I was like, no, 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 I gotta keep playing now. Yeah, <laughs> my, my That's dumb what ass. they were hoping you did. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> I'm, I, I, uh, I was like, I, I, I took away the hundred and I put the hundred. I'm like, mm-hmm. all right, Sophia's birthday's on December eighteenth. Oh, <laughs> on you put 18th, it just on eighteen. On eighteen, it would have been a return of like thirty five hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, no, didn't lose that. And I'm like, all right, let's try to double it again. It's like <laughs> the original hundred, and I lost that. And I'm like, oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's usually not. it's usually how those stories go. Yeah, it gets you in the long. <laughs> the house always wins. Yeah, yeah. pretty always, much. Yeah, always. Yeah. <laughs> Sip of the. <laughs> <I know. laughs> it's, it's so good. So, um, <coughs> tell us how you got to where you're at today, man. Like, Cause I know we met through wine boss, Yes, which I would just go and get a glass of this and that, or the, the, the one that Tommy remembers me getting a lot of is the playground Tempranillo that I really liked and yeah, then it ran was out. Good. That was, it was really, really good. Really yeah. Good. I loved working for Tommy. I still help Tommy out every once in a while with some stuff. Like I'll help him at random festivals and we have a lot of the same contacts and stuff. Cause now I work for, Slow Brew, you can see some of this here, Slow Brew, and then I also work for Rod and Hammer Slow Stills, which is our distillery that is attached, so excuse me if I'm a little brain dead today, because I worked uh, LA Beer Fest for Slow Brew yesterday, poured beer for like 6,000 people, it was uh, absolutely insane, yeah, but... uh, but I've been working them, working for them for like a year while also doing the side quest sellers thing at the same time, and so um, so super busy all the time. But uh, I guess to to answer your question, how I got there to where we are today, I went to Cal Poly a long time ago, and for the wine major, they have a wine major at Cal mm-hmm. Poly. Oh, yeah. and slow. Yeah, and slow, and slow. Yeah, so you can actually major in like wine making, wine business, um, that sort of thing. And it was at awesome program it was super fun and 
I felt kind of bad because uh, all my I tell people this story all the time. I think it's hilarious. My friends in college that were my roommates and stuff, they mm-hmm. were all in aerospace engineering and architectural engineering right. and like all these really hard majors that are like maybe t- maybe take five years because they're so insane and the <laughs> senior projects are wild and they'd be up all night studying for finals and stuff like that. And I remember specifically one night they were like, oh, I'm, I got to study for my whatever. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I know me too. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> You know, just drinking wine, like, oh man, I gotta smell this, smell this wine. <laughs> oh, okay, I gotta go to a wine party so that I can uh, for my midterm. <laughs> <laughs> God, I got so much homework today. Oh. Yeah, it was yeah, tough. It, it's it's it was a rough. Re- really tough uh, uh, career choice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was uh, an excellent career choice. So I've worked uh, in wine for the last um, since 2010. I was in wine up until I got this job with Slow Brew, and uh, man, I'm so grateful for it. Um, Wine is super fun, and I'm glad I'm doing my own wine thing. And I especially loved the winery that I worked for for like 12 years in Paso, Bodegas Pass Robles, which is actually right around the corner from Tommy's place, Wine mm-hmm. Boss. And Wine Boss as well. I worked there a couple years and highly grateful to Tommy and still support him a lot. Excuse me. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, but man, beer and whiskey is just fun, man. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just a different thing to jump into after being in wine for so long. And, uh, especially the distillery, we do, um, like premix cocktails and that's okay. like a whole right. new world of, uh, I wish that I had had some on hand, but I brought them all to the, f- to the festival yesterday and gave them all and poured them all out there. But, uh, but yeah, we do a canned Paloma, uh-huh. a canned margarita, a canned mule, and then we're going to come out with a Mai Tai pretty soon. And it's slow brew stuff, you said? Yeah, so it's all one br- it's all one company, but it's uh, Rod and Hammer Slow Stills is the is the brand. And that's like this whiskey bottle I have okay. here is Rod and Hammer Slow Stills. So that bottle I brought is really, really nice. That's a reserve rye whiskey. We got 93 points in Wine Enthusiast for that, which uh, made us one of the, a very highly rated whiskey that year, one of the top 10. And uh, that's my favorite of our of our spirits. So I brought that one, but we also I highly recommend the uh, all of the premix cocktails is really where your bang for your buck. That's where the, you know I my ears perked up when you said yeah. premix cocktails and, and cans. I'm it's, gonna have to check it's those out. It's pretty great, and we also have bottled cocktails as well. So uh-huh. we do an old fashioned and a Manhattan as well. So really, any of those cocktails you literally just pour it over ice and it's and it's good to go. But I like to do a little garnish, like if you do old fashioned little orange peel or something. Yeah. Yeah, where can we get those? So you can get it at our actual place in San Luis uh-huh. um, at Slow Brew Rock and Rod and Hammer Slow Stills, which is right next door to the airport. But we're actually like in the market all over the place now. Total Wine, uh, a lot of Bevmo, um, Cal Fresh. Uh, and then Ooh, pretty okay. soon, a lot of uh, Vaughn's and Albertsons as well. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna be so looking we're going to be all those, over. So. But if yeah, you go to definitely. either one of our websites, you can type in. We have a like a beer and a whiskey finder. Okay. And you can type in your zip code, and it'll tell you where you can find it. Dude, but, awesome. Uh, I'm going to have to look that up. Also, a little where we are going to be in Costco, a little secret one. That, that one's sort of a little secret pop-up. It's not really going to be in Costco a very long time, but it's uh, in a couple Costcos. So you heard it here. That's crazy, yeah. man! It's congratulations. Yeah. So they're yeah, they're that's... really blowing up, man. They are uh, they're doing very well, and they they got the concert venue there too. Mm-hmm. So I know a lot of people around our ages were are very nostalgic for Slow Brew for the concert venue when they were downtown. Yeah, I saw some good shows there. Absolutely right. So we're there. still doing um, that same thing, and we're we're they're ramping up a lot of great shows there all the time at the Slow Brew Rock. It's a huge venue that can fit like six to 800 people or something like Mm -hmm. that we had uh i went to a hip-hop show there for my buddy garrig uh, a couple weeks ago with word sauce if you guys familiar with word sauce Mm -hmm. they're like a local Uh hip-hop group that's been around here for like ever it was a blast but they also get some really like old um like bigger names too like we had far side like the classic no way did you really yeah far side was just there their first album was amazing it's so good i love that album yeah yeah, the what was it long wild ride or something like that Um, my favorite song is uh other fish yeah yeah, I love Absolutely. that song. Yeah, man. Rep Far Side was incredible. It was odd. They go by a different spelling now, and they, they I think because one of the members passed away or is oh, in really? the group okay. anymore. But okay. uh, but man, what a show! That was that was when killer. was that? That was probably like six or seven weeks ago. But we get <sighs> huge shows now all the time. Random celebrities. I'm a little Joe, I didn't know about that. <laughs> I, I, I really wish I could have seen them. You know, back to movies and shows. This was kind of a funny random one. We had a uh, Joe Keery from Stranger Things. His band played at Slow Brew. Who was uh, Who is Joe Keery? Joe Keery is um, he's like the 
He's like the heartthrob character to. He's uh, oh god, I don't is know he, the character's is he, is, name. Is he, is he the guy, the actor who's like apparently like older than what the character is supposed to be? I think like, so. Honestly, double we'd have to almost. look up what his name. Okay. I honestly don't remember the I mean, character's name. If only we had some. If only we had some way of figuring it out on the would spot, something like that, <laughs> then w- these problems would all be solved. But uh, but yeah, oh you guys that are, guy, he like played um, Steve Harrington. There you go, Steve. Steve. Yeah, the old. Oh the, the, yeah, Steve. He yeah. was on uh, Free Guy. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. That was yeah. a fun movie. That was a freaking movie. Yeah, it was that a great was movie. Yeah. A, Can't go wrong with Ryan Reynolds. I I like those no. those uh, that come back now of the just fun casual kind of. Yeah. I hate to say that. I hate the phrase like family film because I you know I don't have kids or you know I'm like you know drinking. Oh, no, we'll, we'll talk about the kids. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We have plenty to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask. I know Miguel has a child. Do you have a child? I have three. You have three. I have three. Oh I have an eleven-year-old. Poor soul. <laughs> yeah. No <laughs> 11, regrets. No, <laughs> Eleven, five, and a three-year-old. Oh my goodness. And we're done. Like a hundred percent, we're done. I assumed you did, just given the name of the podcast. Yeah, it'd be weird if it was. <laughs> yeah, it'd be pretty odd if you if you if you didn't. But uh, I I was guessing one, but three. Holy yeah. goodness. Started off early and more uh, power to you. Sir. Yep. thank you. Start yep. off early and ended early. So. How are you even here? Do you even have time to? They don't do know this I'm here. Right I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they think they think he's asleep in the room right now. <laughs> I'm working. <laughs> That's right. We're logging in That's hours. Right. It, it's it's funny because uh, like we when we first started it, I was like, dude, I don't know how you're gonna keep getting time off, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then doesn't matter if I think you have one kid or three kids. I think the the big. Uh, factor here is did we get permission to come <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was the right, big one right. it's more the the way yeah, yeah the logistics kids, right? Right? we just you know, yeah yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> thankfully yeah they're they're right now with mom yeah all i'm running out with mom thankfully my wife is Wonderful. very supportive of what i do here that's awesome you know but still we are always very conscious about how many times we are logging in doing this because i mean we have to spend time with them right me right. in particular i have a night job during the week Oh my goodness! So, um, what's your night job? I I work at scientific drilling. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. and uh, so I I yeah I work at night. Um, and my wife works there too. That's actually where I met her. So she nice. comes home, exchange, and then I'm off. That's what I do. So. What a team! Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're a team. So I mean, unfortunately, I I don't really get to spend much time with all of them together up until like the weekend. So, you know, weekends. It makes it, me feel so lazy not doing, like, as much with my side quest brand. I'm like, oh, I don't have time to, like, work well, on hey, this. Well, I'm maybe, at, maybe I'm at my nine to five. It will be your side quest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Exactly. <laughs> this will be my, my three children. <laughs> have you ever thought about that? That was a good, like, little connection yeah. there. <laughs> oh. That was a really good you connection You know, it's there. funny you say that. That's kind of why we chose the name. I think uh, I have sort of a cheesy kind of a thing, rant that I go on when I talk about the name is, yeah. uh, you know, the whole yeah, idea it, of the... To side quest sellers uh-huh. is that uh you know whatever we branch off from here we want to do I, I know i said that we're gonna you know keep a couple secrets but we do want to do some other fun products like not just wine we want to yeah. get into doing some cider maybe if the licensing permits we want to do maybe a couple beers um i think there's a lot of uh flexibility now in alcohol and in brands that there wasn't before you know before it was like oh you do wine and you're known for cabs so you better do all cabs and just one other thing you know and so now we're we're gonna go all over the place and you know so the whole idea is that no matter what we branch off into it's all a side quest to the side quest You know, and so if we do a, even if we go branch off completely away from alcohol and we do something Mm -hmm. like a, um, like just like a clothing line, or if we do, you know, any kind of product, it can just be another side quest along the journey of whatever this company is. You know, well, I mean, just like in open world games, there's never enough side quests. That's Something right. always pops right. up. So. And and just like an open world game, the most memorable and the fun quests are always the side quests. The main quest usually sucks ass. You know? <laughs> so what's that? Yeah, nine to five job. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's remembers the, the main <laughs> quest of Skyrim. You don't even finish the main ki- main quest of Skyrim because then you can't go back and finish all the side quests of Skyrim. You know. So what's the what's that terminology when you reach a benchmark? What's that? What's that? A checkpoint. A checkpoint. checkpoint. Yeah. Yo, so. If you dig, Dude, it, don't it, don't throw too many of my future wine names oh out. God. Oh, so no! See, I was he, actually thinking he, he connected. You said to know that. Yeah, you <laughs> said <laughs> wine brand. It. Yeah, he got <laughs> it. I that's just right, said right. checkpoint. That's yeah, all I said. That's right. <laughs> but 
Yeah, there's um, a lot was, of fun puns. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking. Uh, I'm excited. If, if to be have, honest, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. To, to, I'm excited. To, I'm excited for that. As a, as a Thank gamer, you. I'm super excited for all that. Well, I was thinking, it's like, if you have an actual physical location, call it checkpoint where you get all this stuff. Dude, you're, you're ruining it. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have to bring him in. That's in the yeah, plan. Yeah, you're gonna have to, yeah. gonna have to bring him I in. I can be marketing. a silent partner. <laughs> I know. Not right? too silent. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a sex joke? But definitely <laughs> can be. I don't know. I don't know where we're going with this. I mean, you can have a <laughs> no, but I mean, I, I remember you telling me about the the side quest stuff before it became you know you, it became a you know manifest. Yeah, it was a long itself. time coming. And yeah, yeah and uh, I remember even while you were talking about, it, you were telling me all these like little puns that you can go off of and yeah. like figure it out. You know, two it's player fun. mode. Who doesn't or, love a good know, pun, some, man? Something crazy like that. But yeah, I, yeah I'm super excited. Beer's for already. You know, beer companies have already been having such a blast with it. There's One Up Brewery, yeah. and there's yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, there's all sorts of these puns with all these fun breweries doing great um, beers. Like I really like. Uh, Oh, I forget the name of the brewery. They're in um they're in Temecula and I'm a big fan of theirs. Um wouldn't be hard to find, guys. It's the gaming brewery in Temecula. So just look that up and that's if the, only we had some sort of device. <laughs> <laughs> something <laughs> something somewhere. But, uh, but anyway, yeah. I know Barrel I know Barrel House for a while was doing some uh Yeah, they had like, a like video cans game, something. And, yeah. Captain Fatty's does like a series of uh Street Fighter themed beers mm, that I really like with like different oh, characters. You're, you're hitting sick. you're hitting me right there. <laughs> Isn't that dope? Yeah, I love How does that I'm work so with the whole the copyright thing? Do they get in so, trouble? Oh man. Hope that they don't find out. That's pretty interesting interesting discussion to have actually yeah. so with a lot of breweries so not to throw like breweries under the bus a little bit <laughs> captain fatty's actually is doing it correctly and a lot of other places are doing it correctly but there are breweries that have in the past sort of done maybe a little bit too close to the original artwork mm -hmm. of some yeah, yeah, um, yeah ips but i guess the thinking is you know this is you can look this up and this is what i've read in like different articles on brew blogs and expert um, you know, industry magazines and stuff like that. Basically, there's such short runs that even if they did get a cease and desist, by it'd the be, time they receive that desist, yeah, yeah, that beer's yeah. already gone by the time they receive that cease and desist. Well, that's so that's why when yeah. we did side quests, we specifically needed to do, I didn't want to do, I want to do an homage to the things I love. I don't want to do just a straight copy of the well, things it's not I love, like you, you know? called it like yeah i didn't call it like nintendo yeah, sellers or exa something exactly you know, exactly like and and even though it's all there's homages to nintendo and a couple other um video game companies in here i try to be as um, discreet in a way. yeah and i like it to be i think an homage is the right the right phrase there i want to right. reference it but i don't want to oh, i love that sorry i was just trying, right trying to do another okay, okay it's it's quite a, i love it <laughs> It's not quite as fun with red wine as it is with <laughs> sparkling. <laughs> <laughs> with red wine, it's just like... <laughs> Listen to it. Yeah, it's just like nothing. <laughs> well, Listen except the twice. pop. Let's hear the pop. Here we go. Pop. It's almost there. <laughs> Got it. Ah. <gasps> I'm sorry, that's going to pop. That's, <laughs> that's, <a good> <laughs> that's going to be a sound bite in an intro of some sort. <laughs> You're going to have to make it. That, that was, was a good, good one. one. That, that was good. One. That was really good. Yeah, no, it was. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That was great. But yeah, these breweries, they're doing a little bit. Some of them are too, doing a little bit too close. But, right. uh, but I think that, that kind of... That's kind of going by the wayside now. Now you're seeing more people do um, more homages and original artwork. And, you know, like we spend a lot of time creating this from, from scratch. So I'm not worried about anybody yeah. saying. I mean, no. in reality, I think whoever knows will know. But for the most part, it, exactly. a lot of people won't. Like me, like I said, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, I, I got the, the text. Yeah, I could tell the text and I'm like. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, that's kind of the idea, I think, is I wanted it to not be so blatantly video game. Like, it's obvious once you see it. Mm -hmm. But I also just wanted it to be able to stand on its own as just a really good wine. And, you know, because especially if it's going to be sold in the Paso area, which, by the way, you can find this at Wine Boss. And, as well, you can also find it at... Um, the Poisoned Apple, which is okay. our very good friend Devin and Cody's uh, cider bar in Atascadero. Highly recommend some some people give that a try if you're ever in the Atascadero area. Poisoned Apple. Huh? The Poisoned right. Apple. Excellent. They have a full list of ciders and meads. They do Mead Monday. You get like a discount on mead, and they have this great little um, 
food vendor in there. It's called uh, Slides of Atascadero or something. I think that's what it's called. And uh, they just have excellent stuff, but they happen to carry SideQuest in there. So those are the two locations you can you can find it right now as well as online at Wine Boss. It was all pretty good to know. I know me and my wife right now are like, now that we're out of the stage of wanting more babies and like kids, like, Get Whenever. drunk. <laughs> no, yeah, no, I mean, taste, taste. taste. I mean, <laughs> no, I mean uh, you know, baby fever is no longer a thing. Yeah. We don't feel it at all. As a matter of fact, anytime someone brings it up, we're like, <laughs> right. So, uh, I mean, it's good to know because I know a lot. Of, now we're now we're in the planning stage. Just once they're old enough, we're gonna go do this and we're gonna do that. So, yeah. oh, shoot, once they're old enough, man, at yeah. at wineries and. Every winter I've ever worked at, almost every day we get some kid with like a baby or a toddler. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's cool and all, but you don't, you're, you're not, you're not as free. I appreciate and you saying that because other parents don't feel that way, and you know, every winter I've ever worked yeah. at, you know, we say your kid is allowed, but yeah, really, I mean, we'd really, rather you not. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like it's there, there's an asterisk behind yeah. like yeah. Uh, you know 100%. all ages or something, right? And, and you don't, you don't, as a parent, you can have fun with them, and yeah, you can bring them out, but sometimes. Especially when your significant other, that's really the time you spent with them, and the, yeah. the time you feel like, yeah, f- lack of whatever word, free. Yeah, and you want to <laughs> you want to show the wife a, a nice special time, make her feel exactly. special and, exactly. and appreciate it. Exactly. Yeah. So you got to ditch them kids. Sometimes, <laughs> man, I mean, I'm be real. Yeah, you do sometimes. <laughs> yeah, we. Uh, I grew up in a, in a in a in a home where family day was us doing like chores and. Yeah, and errands. Yeah, Saturdays me for me. Sat- Sundays, Saturdays yeah. was yeah. cleaning day. We, we, yeah. We, yeah, we would go to Napomo. Oh, the swap meet. It's Napomo for the swap meet. Napomo for the swap meet. And you can see things, you just can't touch shit when you were a kid. Right. Like, no, that was you break it, they have to buy it. You yeah. Have to buy it. Yeah. Oh man, you're speaking my language. I grew up. My grandparents um, owned. Um, antique stores and so my family is okay. very oh, really? involved in like estate sales and stuff and my parents go to my mom and my aunts go to antique stores all the time and so man as a as a kid we'd go on vacation we'd actually that's why i ended up here i'm actually originally from riverside area not from okay. here but we ended up i ended up going to college here because i spent so much time as a kid mm-hmm. in slow area and every time we'd be here we'd go to like cambria and go like antiquing for a full day and it was the the worst, man. I mean, you guys remember being in a store you can, as a kid with all this tacky grandma stuff you can't touch. Yeah, yeah. And it was just, oh man, that was you know like the original daily. Funko Pops are those porcelain little angels, right? Like, right. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Right. that's yeah. the original Funko no Pops. Kidding. You know, no yeah. kidding. What was that? Was that a meme or a, it was a meme? No, a I, meme I can't. Where it's yeah. like it's I like, can't claim that joke. Why? why yeah, why? Like, uh, generation uh, today's generation is collecting uh, Funko Pops, whatever. Like this was my Funko Pops when I was a kid. Like our grandmas or parents. Thing. Which were a little creepy sometimes. Well, you know what was annoying yeah. about it is they'd get mad when you break it, but they had so many, so like <laughs> you, you could just shuffle them around. And no, it's not even hide shuffle. them. No, no, we no. I uh, we used to have like a glue stick that we used to kind of put it together. <laughs> Actually, oh, yeah, I have a funny yeah, story yeah, with that told, one. Have I have I told you, the story? You and your show? brother, right? No, me and my sister. You and your sister? And you and my you sister. have a sister? Yeah, I do have a sister. <laughs> <laughs> you we we need you we need you we haven't really known me that long, have you, Mega? <laughs> <laughs> We've known of each other. We've known, yeah, that's a good point. That's a very good point. We know under each other. So you have a sister. We do have a sister. She's Are you sister. the middle child? I'm the middle child. Okay, I remember that part. Okay. I think that I just that like I just blanked out on the, on the sister part. <laughs> we, you know, we talk manly stuff here, so we we're do. like, <laughs> you know what? Though I'll be honest. In all fairness, yeah, I'm still figuring out your family too. So <laughs> I have a sister too. I know. <laughs> I still get confused. No sisters here. I'm, I'm the oldest my brother's a, a See, year a year and four months for whatever reason i always thought you were the youngest no yeah it's, it's on my young attitude mm-hmm. here but my brother is a year and four months younger than me mm-hmm. a little bit taller than me so pe- even people we know like family members all like that it's like so you're like the the second oldest right I'm like, no i'm the oldest what are you talking about i'm the <laughs> smartest i got all you know whatever yeah, you're still smartest. mad about that yeah the youngest <laughs> I don't even want to the talk youngest about right are now. always the smartest you guys heard it here you know, are you the youngest? I am the youngest. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> middle, oldest, middle, youngest. That's the youngest funny. is oh, always damn. the smartest and the most handsome. Uh, just that for the sake, just for the, <laughs> just for the sake of our guest. Yeah. <laughs> facts. Correct. <laughs> Every, hey. it's facts. And Max, is like something wrong with your eyes. <laughs> Well, we at least always get our way, so thank you for giving me for youngest. Yeah, having yeah. Me get my you know way. what's funny? Uh, my 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 daughter obviously is the oldest mm-hmm. <laughs> of whatever no, she's the however many <laughs> however many we're gonna have. No way. But um, I I I was talking to Crystal about um, how different it is from 
when I was a kid to mm-hmm. when now she's a kid or she is a kid. <laughs> when I get home, I you know I get ready for just end of the day stuff. I go take a shower, I change into my pajamas or whatever. Pajamas for me is by the way shorts and shirt. That's oh, like, like, there's no actual pajamas, but um, and she'll be like she'll she'll negotiate with me. She'll be like so. You watch TV, mom watch TV, and I plan your phone. <laughs> like, what? No, I never said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll plan your phone. That makes sense to me. You watch TV, because I know I'm going to be watching TV, but like, yeah. while I'm not using my phone, she goes, and I plan your phone. She goes, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> it makes total sense. And, then, and I taught her how to do a deal, like to put her hand out and do a deal. And yeah, she <laughs> will make a deal. And then that. Uh, um, She's when I'm scamming when people I'm, yeah, yard. I, <laughs> <laughs> I grab chocolate. Miguel's, Daddy pay for chocolate. Miguel's <laughs> raising a crypto, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, probably. But I remember, I remember when I was a kid, when my dad would get home, everybody was like on like high alert, like put the control down. He's going to take over the, the TV. Oh, right. Uh, He's been get out of his it. spot. He's gonna sit My in his spot. My dad used to just grab it. That ever say anything? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We Ch- didn't change the channel. We didn't talk back about it. Yeah, we knew. Though, you know, there's uh since we always talk about like Dragon Ball Z and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I remember a very, very vivid memory. Mm-hmm. I remember this one. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. <laughs> <laughs> get ready. <laughs> Every time I start talking about memory, he's like, "Oh, dude, I'm so sorry for you." Like, he was, <laughs> I can see his face. Like, he had it tough. <laughs> but no, it was it wasn't that bad. It was, uh, I remember watching the story of Trunks mm-hmm. for the first time. Mm-hmm. Uh, classic. Classic, yeah. You haven't seen and it, you better see and, it. And you know that it was when Gohan died. Yep. And you, see that, and you see that line go right behind his head. Oh, Ching! that. Ching! Yeah. Ah, like he starts like powering he up, broke, like yeah. turning into Super Saiyan. And my dad changed the channel mid-transformation. And I was just like, oh, and climax. in Spanish he goes, Yo no quiero ir ese pinche cabrón. <laughs> Like, what's the point? Like, in his mind, like, what's the point of all that yelling? Like, what the hell? So he changed it, obviously. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, and I didn't get to finish watching Trunks until, like, it was in my 20s. <gasps> so, like, the whole time, it's like, what happened after? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and it was like. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. No. It was It was very. Yeah. I watched anime early in the mornings mm-hmm. or when he wasn't there. Yeah. Yeah. My parents weren't, weren't big on the. Uh, the animes and the video games and the the f- the stuff I love so much now still as an adult. Yeah, <laughs> I have a question for you there with that because I know yeah. my 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 dad mostly my dad mostly would continuously kind of throw a jab at me like in video games. And as yeah. I grew older, I got more jabs because he there was there was a point right. I, I even asked him recently, not too long ago. I said, "Hey, pops, I know you always hated it." When did you think I was going to give it up? He goes, oh, I don't know. When you were like in middle school, I was like, fuck. You. I was like, are you kidding me? You know what came out in middle school? The GameCube was out in middle school, dude. Hell like yeah. Things just got worse. Yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah, so, Mario Strikers all so, day. Oh, thank, there you go. <laughs> so um, did you have similar? Yeah. Did, did yeah. your parents kind of like no, jab at you like that? Did they, you know, is there an I expectation? Really... Did they give you an expectation of like... Or did they like? My parents are actually. I can't really say anything bad. They're like crazy supportive of whatever. They, Mexican uh, parents then. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's definitely a Mexican. Oh, which by, which by the way, the last the last guest we had on here, we established his last name and he's not Italian. Yeah. What what was your last? Oh, name? Oh yeah, I just listened to the episode. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. My last name is Hunt. Hunt. Or, so White it's name. funny. <laughs> it's funny you say that. You know, my mom actually was just texting me and my girlfriend yesterday. For our entire lives, we thought we were super, super Dutch, mm-hmm. and a bunch of people in my family just did twenty three and Me. And it turns out there's some huge lies somewhere in my family. And we're all oh really super Lithuanian. We're not Dutch, which is also you know Eastern European. So it's like you know it's just another. I'm a different kind of white than I thought. <laughs> 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 You're all well. It, it, well it's, it's if it's anything like Mexicans, like there's specific areas. Like yeah, if yeah. you're that group, you're like frowned upon. Or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that it's, 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 a real, it's a real thing. Yeah, it's just I, I don't know why. Like I hope I get the most frowned upon group of white people. <laughs> <laughs> would that would that be Germans? Yeah. <laughs> 
god. Genuinely we, curious. Okay. All right, genuinely, we should make a poll of what is the worst <laughs> from the bottom line. What is the I worst don't know if we're allowed the... to do it. No, no, no. So, uh, I mean, obviously, I think this might excluding... be controversial. It might be Persians. <laughs> <laughs> Are Persians white? Ex- no. Ex- okay, no, I was okay. Excluding no. USA the white because it's so people. mixed. Yeah, okay, yeah. excluding the US, which is the most. Because it's so mixed. Yeah. And obviously, the winner would be. You know the KKK or something, but we're talking about European. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're yeah. talking about like, like, the most the, the origins of urine, white. You know, yeah, European. Certainly, so certainly, I'm, certainly. I'm, I'm going to guess right now. The it's origins be of Caucasia. <laughs> you know, I feel like because we're American, we're like so out of the loop with what the answer is. It's right. going to be something we've never heard of. I mean, I'm yeah. pretty sure it's going to be like the word. Oh, everyone over there is going to be like, oh, the worst of the Belarusians. And we're like, what are you talking yeah. about? I never even met yeah. one of those. All right, all right now. All right, now with uh, with the, with what's going on over in uh, Ukraine, the mm-hmm. Russians. Yeah, you know, well, yeah, the yeah. Russians. Yeah, so yeah, that's a good point. I feel like it's, it's always been the How Russians. Can we forget about the actual <laughs> worst. <laughs> 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 the we're, we're forgetting about the factual and politically <laughs> worst ones <laughs> right now. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of nice Russians out there, you know, you know, but uh, maybe <laughs> <laughs> it makes me wonder though, because I feel like there's a lot of like. Uh, uh, what's it called? A lot of people in the world that are saying like this war is just not okay. You know, right, yeah. what's the point? It could have been avoided. Blah blah blah. But I'm, th- but I'm, it, my mind goes like, okay, so if every country now, even third world country, second world, first world, whatever, they all have internet somewhere or another. Everybody's communicating with each other. Mm-hmm. How are the Russian citizens thinking about this? Like, oh, man, dude. what it's is so what's mean. going through their head? It's like, no, no, it's okay. We don't need we don't need war. And then all of a sudden, it's like, wait, wait, we're going to war. I, I guess if be sure to bring uh, some, be sure to bring some vodka. Huh? <laughs> what, what would you think the uh, most xenophobic, most proudful American would think if we went to a war with another country? They'd be jazzed, right? So I imagine it's the same with the Russians. I imagine yeah, that, I mean, the most extreme, what, 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 it's a good patriotic point. ones are probably amped to go represent. Well, that's Russia. the thing. I mean, that you, you have remember the yeah. Cuban yeah. Missile Crisis. It was like almost the exact same stuff. Like it's always against you know communist Russia or right, com- right. some sort of communist Cuban country. Missile Crisis. Yeah, Cuban. Cuba. Cuba, yeah, <laughs> well, it's, it was Cuba, but it was very yeah, yeah, much yeah. backed by yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, our yeah, enemies or whatever. Stuff, yeah. yeah, it was very like our, you know, whoever teamed up with that with Cuba. Right. Almost same thing with Ukraine. Like we're teaming up with Ukraine to fight Russia or yeah. and whatnot. The funniest part about it is that up until it, it, this whole war is making the video back to video games. I love bringing mm-hmm. this back to video games. Yeah. It's making all of those I video wish I games. I all the time because I could. Right? <laughs> well, it's, it's bringing back memories of all those video games with fake uh, fake present futures where Russia won like World War II oh, and, yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. and making that seem so outlandishly stupid considering the like all of the videos and stuff coming out about how ill funded and ill trained the russian military is like they're getting they up until the the war with ukraine started they were considered the second most powerful military now they're not even the second most powerful military in ukraine yeah right so it's like there's such a joke now compared to yeah it is windy today i thought you guys lived in paso (laughs) (laughs) well apparently there's like a, a storm coming a storm coming. There's a storm coming. There's, there's a, a storm, storm a brewing. Like in Terminator 2. And <laughs> she's like looking off to the horizon. Send some cryptic shit to the gas tender or the ga- the gas station tender. What? <laughs> Is, are you talking about the part where she... She's like about? gassing up. And oh, she's in the Jeep. Oh, yeah, she, and yeah, yeah, she's about yeah, yeah. to take off. And she goes, there's a storm coming. And the guy's T2. like, no shit. Yeah, I love T2. <laughs> it's so good. It's What's happening? T2. I love T2. Oh, yeah. No, that really was good. the best one out of all of them. That no. The, the yeah. part that creeped me out the most is when... That's the best one out of all. <laughs> False. The which first one? Which the first, controversial opinion. The first one's the best. first uh, okay. one. Okay, more. Okay, fine. Then. Which one's the most iconic? Second one. Yeah, there you go. Okay, there you go. Just because it's an action movie, and the first one's like a like, horror movie. I, you know what? I yeah, that's what I really liked about yeah. the first one. I really first enjoyed. So I rewatched both. All actually, I rewatched the whole series. Yeah. And um, the first one, yeah, had that horror movie vibe to it about yeah. like a it's machine like on the run. Yeah, and like you think of like what if. Our computers like all of a sudden like start yeah. going against it's us. Way more. The first one's way more terrifying. No, it was more terrifying. Like more oh, that was packed. total action. Well, packed, I think. Yeah. I yeah. think the second one went more into like the details of it because the guy who played the, the 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 melting one, the melting metal one. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, I forget the he name, actually trained himself to be able to be able to not blink while there's uh, gunfire. 
Oh, wow. Mm. So, you know, when you blink, you kind of it's flinch a little bit. Yeah, but, yeah. no, he trained himself to, like, run. Tom Cruise with style. The, with, yeah, run Tom Cruise style. <laughs> <laughs> but also fire a weapon without blinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, no like, he did everything he could to be, like, Daniel Day-Lewis, Tom detached. Cruise level of dedication. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some crazy shit, man. How do we get to this point? Russia, T two. Yeah, I think we should we should do a poll at some point. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Of, oh, that's what it was. We we're talking about genealogies. What's yeah. the worst kind of white people? <laughs> yeah, we. That's, that's not. American which, by the way, Americans. which, by the way, it's the T2. only question we can ask. We can't ask about any other race. <laughs> We can only do the Mexican one because what we are. Mex- you can. No, you can. We can. But we definitely, can. I definitely can't ask. <laughs> but, but that's it. Mexicans, white people. <laughs> it's just interesting how the world works. Oh, but yeah, after that 23 and me, back to 23 and me. After that 23 and me, now I really want to do my 23 and me. Right. I, I really want to find out like what, you know, yeah. how I many different one. kinds of yeah. white am I? I don't know. I, I did 23 and me. You know, How'd it uh, go? Uh, well, since I'm pretty, like, I'm Mexican, but I'm very light-skinned, and it turns out that I'm at least, like, half, like, European, like, Spaniard, uh, like, like some, like, a it. potpourri. Spanish, Portuguese kind of thing. Yeah, actually, a, a potpourri of, like, yeah, just something, you know? Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. But, it's, like, but the other half is, like, native Mexican. Right, right, right. So, I get a little. It's funny. We we did one. Uh, me, oh, did my it. wife, and she got a couple for her, like her grandma and grandpa. Yeah, she yeah, was like, yeah, yeah. she go, and she's like, oh, like a four, like a eighteenth black or something. So she like says that every once in a while. Hell yeah! <laughs> but for me, it was funny because like Askenash Jew came up oh, or something. Uh, Askenazi. Yeah, so Askenazi or something like that, right? And I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> like I know Jew, like Jewish is Jewish. And as, and and uh, somebody posted something on like social media. It's like when you find out you're <laughs> you're Jewish, <laughs> and they start like eating all the dishes and like doing yeah, like yeah. like oh, like, man. All like those breads are so bomb. It's like it's like eight eight percent. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's, it was like that's being awesome. in tune with yourself. <laughs> right? Being in tune. You know, my favorite thing about Twenty Three and Me is all of the stories coming out about people finding out about their own adoptions and stuff. Oh, like yeah, that. no, I know those those are are the family secrets that yeah. are like finally uncovered. Yeah, yeah that is crazy. Like, Mom, let's do Twenty Three and Me, and she's like, like no, no, that's <laughs> let's so fake. Definitely not do that ever. <laughs> <laughs> You know, when I was a kid, I thought I was adopted for a moment. Did you really? No, <laughs> then, I, then I lost you. You were <laughs> no, because no. <laughs> no, <laughs> believe it or not, when I was eighteen, you know, at Walmart when you're checking out and they say, "Do you want to apply for the credit card so mm-hmm. to get five percent off today?" And then mm-hmm. you, you yeah, know, yeah. I got denied so much when I did that. Right? Turns out I had bad credit, but no way I couldn't what, have. What, <laughs> At 18, right? At 18, yeah. Because, I mean, anyway. So, <clears throat> um, there was a couple of things that the person said. It's like, yeah, it could be like, uh, you, you should call your, you know, you know, you look at, it gives you a website to check why right. you got disqualified or whatever. And then she mentioned something about Social Security being like, it maybe they wasn't able to pull your identity and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That's where I started thinking, is like, is my identity fake? <laughs> mm. <laughs> like, because uh. there's a lot of Hispanic families that bring their kids over be, wh- when they're born in Mexico oh. and then start their identity over here with the fake Social Security. And they grow up all their lives thinking that's who they are. Like, that's their identity. That That's right. their Social Security right, number. Right, and, stuff. Right. and they don't find out until later when they're trying to buy a fucking house <laughs> or something. Right, right. Where... When it really matters. When it really matters, we're like, um, it looks like you already have a house in Florida. (laughs) (laughs) I was just like, dope. Where's the key? So so there there, there was a moment, and then I, when I finally started like working on my credit, and like when I was twenty (laughs) six, um, I I know it, it. When you start working on your credit, it lets you know where your identity has been used or tried to or whatever. Right. And there was like a few like random spots and i'm like no that's not me no that's not me so i know there's no other person with my stuff so that's how i found i'm not right. adopted or fake or like <laughs> fake id or something like that <laughs> but it was just very interesting because there was a moment where like do i look like my brother <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then people start commenting it's like oh my god you look alike my like, fuck <laughs> <laughs> you like i was hoping not but whatever I yeah. feel like there's. Pr- I feel like that could happen to you very easily because there's probably a lot of Miguel Nunez's. In there the is. World. It's <laughs> just like Michael <laughs> in yeah, the United I States. Say, yeah. like, there's a lot of Miguels in Mexico. Miguel Angel, to be to be specific, Miguel Angel. There's a lot of Miguel Angel. Like, right. yeah, it's it's insane. I wonder if it's because it just rolls off the tongue nicely. There's a bunch no, of Miguel Angel. It does. <laughs> it's it's. I it, know oh Miguel 
Miguel. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You can Miguel. 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 But you Miguel. can't do Michael Angel. You gotta get really close to the microphone. You get real Miguel. sexy with Miguel. it. <laughs> oh, yeah, Miguel. Yo me llamo Miguel. No, so it's technically oh, yeah. in English, Miguel, Michael Angel. <laughs> I usually say you can call me Michelangelo. If Michael you want. Angel Michael sounds Angel. like a, so much better. Uh, but Michael Angel sounds like like a failed magician. No, it just sounds like a Ninja Turtle. Michael, yeah, failed magician, or an artist from the Renaissance. Like yeah. No, 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 no. I, I think I think you're thinking Definitely of the Ninja, Ninja Turtle. Turtle. Yeah, Definitely okay, Walter. <laughs> we start That's insulting each other right That's now. <laughs> the only, the one and only badass Walter was uh, Walter a White, bald white, sixty-five yeah, year old, know, and right. he didn't even want to stick with Walter White. He goes, "Say my name." Yeah, it's true, it's true. Eisenberg. Eisenberg. <laughs> you know what's funny? As a kid. I was always the only Walter. I, actually, until like now, I'm always the only Walter. And I remember uh, feeling left out because as a kid in kindergarten, there was like three Patricks in my class. Oh, right. And there was like two Daniels. <laughs> and and <laughs> Michael, Travis. Yeah, no. All and the like, generic white people names. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the thing was that when we had our little name tags and stuff, there was like Patrick S, Patrick oh, right. R, you know. And, and I was like, I want to be a Walter something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Walter White. Yeah, Walter White. That yeah. show was really fucking good. I remember watching it and just being it so hooked up, especially when it got on Netflix and you can just binge watch the whole thing. That's so good. And I remember watching it and there were so many times where he got caught, especially by like his brother in law and stuff mm-hmm. like that. WW, like written on the notebook. Oh, Spoilers, by the way, everybody. Spoilers, by the way. Point, at this I point, don't care about this. This show's like 10 years old now. Yeah, this point, 10 years old. If you haven't watched I, it... By the way, I am in the middle of Better Call Saul, so Okay, I won't talk no, too I much actually, about it, because I already finished that. I actually yeah, haven't I seen Better Call that. Saul. I watched, it's like, the so first couple episodes. It's still... Oh, it's good. It's really I need good. I need to watch okay, that. Then, it's, I'm assuming Netflix. I'm assuming Netflix. Yeah, it's on Netflix. The couple seasons are Better Call Saul on Netflix. I'm a pirate. I just steal everything uh-huh. okay so i won't talk about my i've had an idea of making my own video game once well i wasn't gonna make it but i had an actual like let's idea. hear it oh before we start hearing it do you want to try the oh, yeah, tempranillo tempranillo is my, tempranillo. my favorite I mean, red wine i love spanish wine that's my my tell me wine when. background is spanish wine tell me what it is 14 percent. tell me one you're good right there thank you sir um i don't know because i'd have to get into Better call Saul spoilers in order to do that. Mm. Well, just because I was, I in order well, to come season two right now. Yeah, yeah, then we'll talk about it some other time then because I no, <laughs> yeah, yeah because I've thought about it and the um. Well, actually, you know what? You guys seen the movie Total Recall, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, the Arnold one, Recall. both yeah, yeah. the good both one and the bad. One. Yeah, yeah, but I'm talking Second about one. I've seen I'm both. talking about the the best part of Arnold. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. That's, yeah. yeah, that's the Bre- trying to breathe on Mars. We're talking about <laughs> so good where his eyes are popping out. Yeah. Oh. I thought that what was the best part? The three boobs or the the, the like creature titty, coming no, out the of the guy's titty girl. chest? The three titty girl. That yeah, was that was, that was the was best a pretty part. Good part too. That, that was, was pretty. I, funny. I thought it was the robotic lady he was trying to pretend to be. Oh yeah. No. Okay. okay. Sure. Well, I think, I think we, a wild movie. I think man. I guess yeah, we watched yeah, it. A different, I gotta watch it again. I guess yeah, we watched wild. it a different time when I was. I, I watched. You were going through puberty, huh? Yeah. That's exactly what. Oh man, three boobs. Yeah, no. I happened to be my, my parents at that time had like satellite cable and there was like free movie channels and I was like, Oh, total recall. That's and then so I watched that like when I was in fifth grade. Yeah. And yeah, that part comes out. I'm like, they look so perfect. <laughs> and now I've seen the movie within the last couple of years. So <laughs> <bad>. <laughs> <laughs> now they're so bad, right? They're so I mean, bad. They're not, but yeah. it, the movie's yeah, great, but movies, that yeah, particular yeah, but anyway. part does not look real. <laughs> I guess. Okay, fine. I, I will omit the better call Saul reference out of this but one day i was watching uh total Re- i was watching re-watching total recall and you guys remember the scene where uh i think it's after he turns into the the lady he comes out and they're trying to grab him so they the uh what is it the, the air vents start going off because they broke the the windshield yeah. the shield so now everybody's getting sucked out into mars right, right, mm-hmm. right. i remember that part okay mm-hmm. yeah, nah, and okay they're hanging okay and so here's the thing like we all know that in movies if they ever introduce a weapon or if they ever introduce like some ultimate something, you have to see it be used at least once. So yeah, you know how yeah. cataclysmic it can be. Absolutely. Think of the Death Star. Right. They showed a Death Star. We had to see it blow up a planet. So we it, just see tur- it just turned to be Naboo, right? What was it? What was the planet that blew up? It was Leia. Uh, it was it was uh, 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 Alderaan. Alderaan. Yeah, yeah, it was Alderaan. Oh man, I got my Star Wars shirt yeah, yeah. on, and oh man, wow. Got baby Rogu behind me, or anyway. baby Yoda, <laughs> Grogu, Grogu. But anyway, so 
when the when the windshield breaks and everybody's getting sucked out to Mars, you had to see somebody yeah. get sucked out to Mars so you know how devastating it can be, yeah. right? So I was watching that, and then of course they have like the Galactic Police or the Mars Police yeah. trying to surround Arnold. And and whenever you think of these guys, these are like the best of the best. And a lot of the times in movies, whenever they they bring out their assassins or they hire their guns, they always like to say, "Oh, these are the best. I played top doll. I paid top dollar for these guys." Right, right. Yeah. And of course, I'm at this point an avid movie goer, so I'm watching the movie and I'm thinking to myself, "All right, who's the poor sap?" That's gonna get sucked out into the into the the air and into the, into Mars, and of course it's one of those like police guys. They're hanging on, and then all of a sudden, ah! and I thought to myself, what happened in his training? <laughs> what happened in his training to have made him let go? Right. Did he skip arm day? Yeah, he was, did, was he out? Of, was he? Well, out if, you, if you think about it, any police force or some sort of police uh, um, law enforcement identity in the future, tend to have less training now. You remember um, the one with uh, Arnold Schwar- no, uh, Sylvester Stallone. Uh, he, he he got frozen and then woke up again in the future with... <gasps> oh, Demolition Man. Demolition oh, Man. Oh, I love and the Demolition police. Man. The seashells. Yeah, the seashells. <laughs> the seashells. <laughs> but um, I noticed that like, if it's any futuristic police, unless it's a robot... Yeah. They're very not well trained. Yeah, they're very badly trained. Right. I mean, look it at Star Wars. So That's weird. like theoretically like oh, maybe they miss. Yeah, yeah, they the miss yeah, every so single yeah. shot. Yeah. 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 Hey, it's true. Futuristic <laughs> police are really bad. I mean, they. Police. I mean, they. They. They hit their heads on the on the door. <laughs> on thing, the door because yeah. it's not yeah. open all the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, but but my thing was, I I thought to myself, I was like, why did this always happen? Like like what happened? Was he on a a on a rager the night before and he was maybe right. hung, came work hung over and now he let go and now he's dead so i thought to myself you know what be interesting is a video game <laughs> and where you start off as a trainee, <laughs> a trainee? as oh, a trainee and you have like gta options. style no i just no yeah uh, it wouldn't be like gta style it'd okay. just be like like oh like mass effect style like um, we have, you can go. You can go, but it wouldn't. You know, it wouldn't be it as changes. open world. It'd be oh, more. Okay. It would be more like just, just simple. Like, okay. and then you would be like, I want that, but like space. I want it to be like in the future. I want to be a space cop. It can be whatever like you know. Really and that's the thing. One. And the thing is, <laughs> it would just be anything. You just kind of set your thing because it's just a police force. It doesn't right, really. Right. It can yeah. be whatever. Do you, do you guys remember the flip phones when they had those games where you like? You get two decision, and it, depending on what decision you're making, there's only two outcomes. But yeah. you start going left and right. This, the, 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 Pick your own. Venture I remember, and uh, I'm gonna date myself. I used to be in choir, mm-hmm. and I remember going to and from a choir event. Mm-hmm. And on the way back, one of my friends she let me borrow her her flip phone to play the, one of the dating games, whatever. <laughs> and it's either yes or no, or like flirt or not flirt or whatever. And I mean, there's only two outcomes at the very end. It's not that like. You know, uh, what was it called? Uh, elaborate. elaborate. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but it's very funny. Like, you can yeah. still decide which way you're going to flip, even to the last decision. But uh, I remember doing that. And I was like, oh, this is really cool. And I like thinking back, I'm like, fuck, this is the snow. That was the stupidest thing. I was, I was playing <laughs> right. a freaking well, when bus. That's on the all way you back. had. That's all. Yeah. That's all you had. You didn't you have a smartphone. Back yeah, exactly. But before, <laughs> but real but, quick, yeah, <laughs> going back to that real quick, let me, I'll, I'll finish it up. I'll finish it up. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you would you would be a trainee, and you could get all the way to the top to like big boss. Yeah, but you if, depending on the choices you make, if you skip like workout day to go to the bar or something, you're trying to get good enough Your, to like, pass stamina each is, level. Like, changing, <laughs> yeah, and then of course you you'd go through like an obstacle course where you you use yeah, at this point how many attributes you have in order to complete it. And depending on how well you do on each game, it, it's going to be, it, it, in my head, it would be a easy pick-up-and-play game that you can play many times just to try yeah, to see yeah, like the outcome. Games. Just to see the outcome of it. And, of course, it would be like an action movie setting. You're holding onto a bar, and, of course, you get eaten by a shark. Or you get eaten depending on the choices that you made during your trainee program. And so my ta- but I would call the game Poor Sap because I always said, like, who's the poor sap who's going to be eaten by the shark Seriously? or the yeah. alligator? Yeah. My tagline yeah. came up with it. I was, like that. My tagline was like, uh, "Are you gonna be the boss, or are you just gonna be another poor sap?" Yeah, yeah, something like, I like that. That, a lot. that was my. It's like game. a stormtrooper game, something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm sure. Some, now that we said it out loud in the world, it's gonna be created. The algorithm, our FBI agent's gonna watch tomorrow. it. And it's gonna be like, 
They're like oh, yeah. taking notes right now. Yeah, he's like, all right. He's Speaking good. of which, I was going to ask you, Miguel, what uh, what movies have you been watching? Speak, I wanted to uh, talk about your wine a little bit and also talk about movies a little bit. So the Tempranillo is delicious uh, from Paso. Love I that. Had it. Delicious. I had it last time. It was really good. But uh, you're the big movie guy. What uh, what movies have you been enjoying lately? Uh, so uh, being a family man that I am now, I mm-hmm. go straight home sometimes. Oh, most times. Yeah. But the um, wife knows, right? <laughs> <laughs> so purely animated <laughs> children's films, so, kind of. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Purely animated only. Um, no, it's um, it's a good question. Um, I try to watch as many movies as I can at the theater. Uh, sometimes I'll get like twenty, thirty minutes in here and there because you know I got to work too, so right, I'm right. like hopping in there. Uh, but for the most part, I have. I it takes me a while to see current ones. Right. Only because I'm mm-hmm. trying to catch up all the time. Unless we don't have any new movies, and I'm like ca- caught up within like a week or two. Right. Um, I do, unfortunately, and people might hate me for this, or in the movie industry, is like I do like it when they go streaming sometimes because I can just watch it when I'm home. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. The convenience of it. Yeah, the convenience of it during 2020 mm-hmm. was like very I bet the interesting. Owner of the movie theater loves you saying that. No, <laughs> <laughs> but here's here's the thing though. Uh, while in 2020 we did uh to try to make some money and survive. Through the shutdown, yeah. we rented out the auditoriums. Yeah, I always thought that with was yeah. DVD. That was great. Yeah. We used to and do that all the time with Wine Boss. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. we still do. I think. Well, still I think, does I think that. we're gonna do it again with Hell Wine Boss. Yeah. That'd be kind of fun. It was so fun. Like a Halloween. We set themed. up a little bar in there. Oh, cool. dude! Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> like we set up a little bar across the street. Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, it was really fun that you guys went out uh, and uh, supported a local. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But now they have a bar in there. Now we have a yeah. bar, so we can we sell the Tempranillo, and then Fortunate Youth. At the moment, um, I might try to switch That's up. Rad. Uh, the, yeah, yeah. Well, I, there was a time where we were like, we needed more white wines because it was summer. Yeah, and we only had the J. Law or Chardonnay. Right, 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 right. And then we, so we added in uh, Eberly, uh No, not Eberly, um Rabble Rosé. Mm. And then we added in She Sells, one of theirs, because we talked to them in the past about buying stuff. So, I, like, I kind of want to hold up, hold up the that end of the conversation a little bit. Yeah. And it was doing pretty good because it was summer and it, people wanted chilled wines. And then I was looking for another one. I'm like, fuck. So, I, I looked through Wine Boss, com website. Notice how I said Wine Boss, com because that's the full website, Shout by out. the way. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I saw that he had a... Uh, fortunately, the cheapest one. I went straight to the cheapest one. Chanon Blanc. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff, though. He goes, yeah, dude, I'll give it to you for an excellent price. And he really cheap, right, compared yeah. to all the other ones I had. I'm like, yeah, that was a go-to. And then um, I'll probably switch it out at some point, but uh, right now we still have some. Uh, so as far as watching movies, it was uh, very interesting during 2020 because I can watch them at home and then give my reviews right. at work. But uh, when we did the rentals, and somebody brought in their own DVD for like a current movie that was already out because they were we were still catching up on what we can show. There right, was nothing right. playing, no new releases. So we played like Raya: The Last Dragon or something. Yeah, very, like it's still on my list. Still yeah, I haven't that watched that either. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty yeah. good. I mean, you're not missing out, to my, in my opinion. But it's still. A I mean, good it looks good. Movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks good. But we had that on the screen while it was already on DVD. Right, mm. right, right. So okay. somebody rented out theater. Brought in their own Ride Lost Dragon DVD or try to stream it or so, I can't remember. It was, I know it was something that they mm-hmm. brought. Right. And you watch it on screen when, when it's rented out. The audio, eh, when mm. it's DVD. Right. But when it's mixed into the entire audio system, because that's how the way it was designed. Yeah. Mm, huge difference. I that's bet. why, like, I you I know for a fact. The theater. Yeah. I know for a fact if you watch in the theater, that's the way you should be watching it. Yeah. Yeah. Not just because I work at the movie theater, but because I saw the difference of quality and right, the right. sound itself. You know, it's funny you said that. I watched, uh, I don't know if you've seen um, the newer one, the George Miller's new film, 3,000 Years of Longing. Have you seen that uh, yet? I, th- I think we're not showing anymore, but the, the keys are still good. So I'm going to go watch it on my off hours. Yeah, it's a little bit of a pile. It's not very good. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> no, I did I not thought enjoy it. I, I thought it was mostly dialogue. Every time it I is. walked in there, it's it was a just a dialogue. conversation. It really was. It's like it's like if Aladdin yeah. 
didn't want to do anything with his life and yes. then just talked yeah. with Jeannie. That's yeah. what I got from it. Yeah. And my <laughs> like, issue you wasn't print? the slow pace, nothing like that. I actually love a slow pace film. And George Miller's by far my favorite filmmaker. Mm-hmm. I love the Mad Max films. I mean, obviously my name is Max, blah, 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 yeah. blah. But I, I really, Fury That's Road. That's a and, I know. <laughs> Fury Road and Wasteland are, are uh, or I'm sorry, Road Warrior are both my like favorite films ever. And, uh, George Miller, it's funny, he's such a master filmmaker, but he's basically made all the Mad Max films and Happy Feet, the Penguin animated oh, really? movie. Oh. Yeah, so that random. so weird. Yeah. So random. I, but anyway, I, I remember that, he yeah. finally came out with a new thing that was totally original, and it had his Tilda Swinton and Idris Elba. I thought, man, this thing is going to be it an must absolute be masterpiece. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and oh, man, it is rough. It is a perfect example of when I hear people say, like, oh, the – the studio got too involved. They made too many changes. The studio very much should have gotten involved in this piece. That's a different turn of events. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Not no, see that one coming. Yeah, they re- he really needed some parameters to help him out a little bit. It's not, the, it's not the best. I enjoyed the film, but the reason I brought it up is before the movie started, he, like, there was, like, a little preview thing of him talking before the film. Like, thank you for coming to support yeah. the movie. Yeah, oh, okay. and there okay. was this very passive-aggressive dig at, like, th- at people going, at, like, stuff coming out on streaming. He was like, thank you com- for coming to my film. Oh, the uh, way it was the, supposed yeah, to be watched. exactly. Tom Cruise yeah. did the exact same thing for Top Gun. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, he did. So the first time I ever saw that was in X-Men Apocalypse. Mm -hmm. And I remember watching that and I was like, oh, that was weird that they did that. And then the movie wasn't great. In my opinion, it it wasn't the great. I mean, there were some cool effects and cool powers. Wait, which X-Men? Apocalypse. Oh, it was an awful one. Thank you. I'm a huge X-Men fan. I love X-Men. So when I saw that. Logan's still the best one. I saw that. Logan is by far the best one. Another movie came out. (laughs) <laughs> Logan? Yeah, no, Logan and is the, the best one. What's I think that? it's because... And, they, and I love Days of Future Past. Days of Future Past. Yeah, well, that, that was pretty good. Yeah, that was pretty good. Class. Well, that one revamped everything, so, like, the possibilities yeah. are there, yeah, yeah, which really makes good. me excited for X-Men, which they're taking forever to fucking do something. Like. MCU's gonna get it soon. So yeah. Yeah. But anyway. I know. Um, so I saw that terrible movie, and then I yeah. saw it to, on something else, terrible movie, and so when Top Gun did that, and I'm like, fuck, Tom, <laughs> Tom what'd you do? No. And then the movie was really fucking good. Edge good. your seat, good. Hydrenaline, all the right. stuff, you know, the nostalgic, like, <laughs> 80s music that was on there. Was Danger you know, Zone on there? I think so, for a, for a point. It had to be, right? Yeah, I guess I it, you can't it, have a Top Gun movie I think it was. Movie. I don't remember it, but I think yeah. it was, because yeah. only because I don't really care for the song as much, yeah. but... And then, um, so it kind of broke the pattern for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. However, the fact that they did that, like, I could, I, like, when somebody tells me, like, this is what's happening before the movie starts, I'm like, there's a good mm. chance it's going to suck. Yeah. There's a good That's chance how I felt it's going to suck. It was really a, a red flag, I felt like, for the rest of the movie. It was, uh, yeah. I, I, and it was like, it, it left a little bit of a sour taste in your mouth just for the movie right at the very start because it wasn't like, <laughs> just thanks for coming. It would have been yeah. great if it was just like, thanks for seeing my movie because I worked for, really yeah, hard yeah, on yeah, it yeah. and I yeah. hope you enjoy it. It was more like, thanks for coming to see my movie. I worked really hard on it and I hope you enjoy it. Not like those pieces of shit <laughs> who don't come to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck streaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dry, uh, mic drop and you then know, you know, <laughs> It's funny. We, we went to CinemaCon the last time <laughs> earlier this year i want to no it was actually last year i remember now because we went we did like a do, two for one it was during our anniversary so we just made it our anniversary trip to go to cinema con mm-hmm. that's dope mm. and uh they were when when the when we're in the caesar's palace like stadium whatever mm-hmm. the presentation part the guy one of the presidents of something he was like free guy broke records or something broke records they said it's made more money than it did streaming. No fucking shit. Like yeah. he's like really pissed right, off. Right, like he's like really adamant it. about it. He's like, no, duh. <laughs> what do you think was going to happen? He's like literally looking like if there's a film person, like film studio person there, he was like looking straight at him or something. He's like, no, <laughs> duh, fucking duh. Like, he, li- 
I was like, oh shit. So and funny. everybody's like, yeah. Because yeah, obviously it's yeah, cinema concerts, yeah, yeah, lot of theater. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I'm right there with you, though. I love I love when stuff comes to streaming. I also love Same seeing here. things in theaters, like certain things. You like, definitely do get a great experience. You and do, but at the same time, you don't. I've had some really negative movie theater experiences that just. Oh, yeah. No, it yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I have to give it to Miguel, though. He runs a good ship over at Park oh, Cinema. They so I'm, super not just, do. I'm not just saying that just to hype him up or anything. All but of like, my negative, negative experiences. Experiences have exclusively happened at the Santa Maria Edwards Theater. Do not go to that movie theater. So I went. <laughs> you hear that? You hear that? People no. listening? No, people should Do listen because I texted you during a movie experience and I was like, what the fuck? Uh, recently, I went to visit my sister in, in Hanford. Mm-hmm. And she had not seen the new oh, Doctor Strange. It, yeah, 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 she had yeah, not yeah, seen yeah. the new. Yeah, he knows what. I, she had not seen the new Doctor Strange movie at that time. And I was like, dude, you have to go. Like, uh, uh, <laughs> I could have told you to avoid that theater. <laughs> Scar- well, I didn't know. That's the thing. Hold on, yeah, hold on. Yeah, Let yeah, me get yeah, yeah. Scarlet Witch is like her favorite, and I'm like, we have to watch it. She's all into my girlfriend's so. favorite. Yeah, so I was like, all right, you know what? Tell you what. Like my mom went and I was like, she'll watch the kids and me and you, we're going to go. She's like, yeah. yeah. So I'm like, all right, you just tell us which one. We were thinking about going to like the one in Lemoore and all that stuff. And she's like, yeah, this one's closer. We'll just go. I'm like, all right, cool. She's like, it's in the mall. I was like, all right, cool. Awesome. And so we go there. <laughs> it's first off, it's Movies 8. It's a Movies 8. That's what it is. It's right? called Movies 8. Yeah, it's yeah. all Movies 8. Sample. What the hell is Movies 8? It's a that's a, that's a, all a, you need to know. It's eight, yeah, it's <laughs> eight eight that's a theater chain? It's, yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's an 8-plex. Yeah. Under Cinemark. Yeah. Interesting. So, <laughs> so we go in there and i mean walk in there it's at, it's at a mall so i'm assuming it's gonna be smaller i'm just like whatever it's mall yeah go in there you can smell pop- popcorn it smelled tad bit burnt but like not too bad we didn't get popcorn we got some snacks super super cheap by the way the yeah. whole thing's super cheap i was like oh hell yeah dude and i was like yeah damn and i paid for the buy whole all thing. the candy yeah no <clears throat> i paid for the whole thing and i was like dude no right not bad so we go walking in, and so okay, we just, walk- for, just for the record, um, cheap doesn't mean quality. No, I'm of course just not. Point that out. <laughs> no, yeah, of course. I didn't care the price. I w- dude, I was expecting to pay what we normally pay, right. right? And I walk in, and I was like, "Is this the room to get to the room?" <laughs> we go in, and I mean, it's Is one aisle, tiny? one aisle down the middle, and each side seats. There's like four to five on the left and on the right about how many rows i'd say about like eight rows with like five seats and i'm, I'm walking in there like all right whatever it's 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 you know i sit down and uh it's hanford in the summer yeah, hot as fuck super hot so yeah and my sister she starts like waving like something like waving air because it's, it's hot, hot in the movie theater yeah, it's hot. In the I've never theater. been in a hot movie theater <laughs> before. The whole point well, of going I was thinking, is it was hot, cold. and I was like, oh, you know what? It's I even asked me on the show. I just bring a sweater. I even brought a sweater just in case. Like, yeah. not I think I left it in the car, but I'm like, oh, oh yeah, you know, we can escape the heat. <laughs> go in there. I had a package of red vines, and like I'm sitting there, and I have like a button up shirt, like a, a sleeveless. I mean, uh, uh, a short sleeve button up shirt, and yeah. just like some jeans. And at at one point, I'm like. Fuck man, and and I get the package of red vines and start waving it like a fan, and I'm looking. I'm like, I'm like, man, and she just starts busting up laughing, and I'm like, dude, you know what? I'm fucking bougie, and I don't like it. (laughs) I'm like, I got bougie over a movie theater. I text this guy immediately, and I'm like, dude, I'm spoiled, and I didn't know it. That's not even spoiled, man. That's like a whole point no of park. A movie no, when I go to park, I know, but park cinema. Like I'm saying, I, I feel spoiled when I'm yeah. in there because I'm like, dude, this is fucking nice. Yeah, I you expect, run a good shit, Miguel. That's, yeah. that's all. I expect when I go to a movie theater, if it's still if it's over a hundred degrees outside. If it's 110 degrees outside, I should still think, should I bring a sweater? Yeah, that's what I <laughs> that's did. What that's I what I think did. about I like know, how to dude, what temperature should and, and, be. In and there. I'm Mexican, so we pay for it. We're gonna fucking do it. Yeah. There's no, there's no. Oh no, we're, we're just gonna consider it a loss. We don't do that shit. I yeah. paid for it. I'm gonna sit there. And tell you. Us, like, it's funny you mentioned a negative movie theater experience with Doctor Strange. That also was my most negative movie theater experience. Was the newest Doctor Strange movie, and it was in Santa Maria. It was the it's absolute here. worst, dude. So. I bought tickets. I am very particular. If I go to the movies, I yeah. want the absolute best experience I'm going to get. I get tickets way ahead of time. <laughs> I reserve them in the very back middle 
Okay. Of course, right, you got to right, be right. in the very back right. middle. I don't yeah. want anybody behind me. It does. It does. To be honest, it does affect the quality of the audio. But I yeah. see why, because you don't want people behind you. I don't want people yeah. behind yeah. me. Yeah. I know that the audio is the best yeah. right in the dead center, right? Yeah. Like, right in the mm-hmm. dead dead center. But if yeah. you don't want anybody behind you, that's that's sweet the spot. perfect spot, right? Yeah. yeah. And I don't mind the audio as much. <laughs> it's more the the visual. But uh, but anyway, so we got there and we all filed into the movie theater, and then all of a sudden they were like, "Oh, it's actually going to be moved to the theater." Next to this one, it's not in this theater. So everybody, you guys all got to get up, and then we're all going to move. So and now you have the to prep yourself all over again. It was so bizarre. I've never had that right. happen before, where everyone's in the theater and they're like, "Oh yeah, fake out. It's not in here. It's in a different room." And right. then so we all get up, go to the next room. Well, I'm in row like H, and it's the last row, right? Row H doesn't exist in this room. It only goes. To, <laughs> it only goes to row G. Yeah. So, so That's it was so bizarre. I've never had this experience ever since movies. I know movie theaters used to not assign the seats, and you just yeah. Well, that's what we currently do. You guys don't you guys assign them. Right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. But once we once we get uh, once we get new seats, it, it is a movie reserve. However, I'm gonna fight to not have it on on the slower days. Yeah, yeah. I would reasons. appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would yeah. highly reasons. appreciate. I don't that mind way. either way. But okay. if it is reserved, yeah, yeah. I expect that to if I reserve my there. seat, that yeah. I'm in the seat that it said it's in, right? Yeah. Because it's not even it. Normally, I wouldn't mind, but I specifically drove all the way to Santa Maria yeah. because it was going to yeah. be like a bigger theater, a better theater experience. Then they moved us to the larger theater room, to a smaller theater room, and then told everybody whose seats don't exist to just like find a spot. So we were just, you able to find one. Yeah, we were. So we able to. We were able to find a spot, and it was fine. It was in the. Like in the like front left instead of the back center like I wanted, but it doesn't matter. I don't care. I didn't really care. Okay. I don't mind. I'm the type of person if I order a order something from a restaurant and you bring me the totally wrong thing, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna eat it. I don't give a shit. It's not that big of a deal. I'm still gonna oh, see the okay. movie. You know, I don't right, care. Right. I was like still jazz. I was so jazzed to see the movie that I was just like, whatever, fine. Like the movie's gonna start. It's a great Who movie, cares? by the way. Yeah, yeah I will f- we'll disagree on that. But. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, whatever, Max. Are we gonna show? I yeah. have my issues. I have my issues but um but um but maybe it, maybe it stems from my very firm oh, negative right, okay, theater okay. experience yeah, okay. then the movie starts no there's more to this okay oh yeah it gets <laughs> way worse so then the movie starts and there's a firm like two foot bar at the bottom of the screen <laughs> where the color is just audibly like very clearly different than the rest of the screen <laughs> It was very weird. It was like it was like all kind of grayed out underneath, like in the bottom two. Like feet noticeable of the or noticeable to noticeable gamers? Noticeable as because like, fuck. I dude, know, like, okay. so noticeable, but not like you. It's still like you can still see what's going on. It's okay. just like for some reason, it's just like this very clear bar you can see uh-huh. where the screen's like messed up in some way, and the coloring is just different. It's like darker below. It's like it wasn't. It's like the brights weren't turned on underneath yeah. or mm-hmm. something. I feel like Miguel like knows technically why that happened or something. Uh, there's a possibility the masking was up to scope instead of flat, there you uh, go, guys. which means uh, so in like home movie theater, in, you know, if if you're looking at flat screen or full screen or yeah, widescreen, yeah. widescreen is uh, full uh, is scope at a at a TV, full screen is flat, which is almost like a square. So right. they probably had some other movie in there in scope, which they switched you over. So there were. And they probably oversold or something, so they were trying to switch you That's or undersold or something. Something happens with the tickets and the seats, or the projector issue. So they switched you over, and forgot to change the masking, so it was bleeding onto a black, literally fabric like this. Right, right. It's like so it made it look think, grainy. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's probably what happened. It looked bad. Yeah. So like the visuals for a movie that's supposed to be like the reason you, one of the main reasons you yeah, go is the visuals yeah, are yeah. incredible, and it looked like shit most of the film. And oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention when because they messed up everybody's seats. Anybody whose seats they messed up, they said okay after the movie, um, we'll be right outside. Come see us. We'll like put you on a list, and you guys will get free tickets to go to another movie in the future, and okay, you can okay. just come back and go yeah, for yeah. free. 
Well, the movie ended and there was no one in sight because it was like twelve thirty <laughs> in the morning. Uh, <laughs> so there was like not a oh, soul. Oh, you watched the last show? Yeah, yeah it was uh, the last show. That's yeah, some bullshit. Show. So there was, was, it, was it sold out? <laughs> yeah, it was sold out. There, the place was fucking packed. It was the day it came out, dude. It wasn't like this uh, wasn't like that's gonna, it wasn't like a shitty movie theater experience where you see a show. movie where you see a movie like months after mm-hmm. and you don't expect it to be in the biggest theater. Like it was supposed to be in the biggest screening. In the best room God, on the premiere night. It makes night. it even worse that it's on premiere night. But what's so bizarre is I was the movie started and I was the only one like looking around like what the fuck is going. On? Everyone else was like, well, I guess this is just like how it is. Yeah. <laughs> and, like no one complained, no one did anything, and I'm like, I don't know. I guess I'm more of an introvert than I thought because I didn't go and complain at all either. It's like, what are they gonna do? Start the movie over? Like right, I don't right. know. It's like it was one of those things where I could complain, but what are they? What could that they really was, do about it? First off, you said you have a girlfriend, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is she is she an extra? Introvert, or an introvert. She's very much an introvert. Oh, she's an introvert too. Yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. she's not the one that's she's gonna... definitely not going to say anything. Okay, see, because yeah, there was... not I saw a meme anything. recently that said, uh, "Why do quiet guys like to date date uh, women that <laughs> extroverts? are extroverts?" <laughs> extroverts. No, and I'm usually and, and pretty the, extrovert. Okay, yeah. and the and the and the response was, "Well, <laughs> somebody's g- well, somebody has to tell them that I ordered uh, potatoes <laughs> right. instead of French fries. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. not going to be me." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so true. No, so so true. No, I'm usually anyway, the continue. extroverted one. I'm usually the one, and I was. I did like before the movie started. Like, like went up to the guy, like, "Hey, like, what the fuck?" I'm in row H, yeah, and yeah, yeah. H doesn't exist. It's the weirdest experience I've ever had. And uh, but anyway, um, so we paid way too much money for a very horrible mm-hmm. theater experience. experience. Right. But uh, but yeah, I have my issues with the film itself too. I've watched it again just to make sure that it wasn't just the negative uh, experience. But uh, I don't know. I felt like the the character development was rough That's for Doctor say. Strange. Uh, for which character exactly? for Scarlet Witch, Doctor Strange, and I feel America. like it was a big jump for Scarlet Witch to be like just defeating a foe, yeah, to being the foe, yeah. I thought that was kind of cool though. That was a little too. That, I to don't me, think they like there should have been a transition. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe I feel like there it was a transition. Maybe and it, it was. And I don't think they they I don't think they got rid of the the other reasonings easily enough. Like right. The, there's if if this all is true, there's countless universes where she has kids. Why is she specifically going after these two kids and trying to murder everybody? One she could she could have gone. She just yeah. find one of the other ones that has the Scarlet Witch already like defeated or dead because yeah. in other movies, Avengers movies or any kind of like Marvel movies that we see from six one six, yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> there's points where Scarlet Witch could have died. Right. And that would have branched right, out right. to a new like right. a new version. But even if they fixed all that, honestly, I have a different criticism why I didn't like it than than what most people I think mm-hmm. too are calling to. A mm-hmm. lot of people are calling for the character development of Scarlet Witch. I think right. the the bigger issue for me was the poor character development of what what's the Oh God! Uh, we've had a couple glasses of wine. What's America the, Chavez? America Chavez. Right. I did not like her character development of going from she can't figure out how to control her powers, and then Doctor Strange is like, "Yeah, you can," and she's like, "And then she figured oh my it God, out." The now end. I can. Yeah. I know. I hate there, there, that. There should have been. There should have been a little bit more. Worse. Like I hate that. It's I want like think a, what's happening. Really so poorly done here's motivational. Th- I think what's happening is you start introducing so <laughs> many more characters, which is Marvel is doing right now with the movies. You, it's mainly just an introduction, and hopefully in the future yeah. you get to see him and you see more. I like the character. I just didn't like that. No, no, no. I know, but what I'm saying is, like, I, th- the thing is, like, I, I've started. First off, I, I, I love the Marvel movies, and I love Dude, all the I'm stuff obsessed. that's coming out. Me too. But I've seen a lot of negative comments for the most recent stuff that's come out. Yeah, and that's one, the only one I didn't like. Okay, and one one thing that I've that I've uh, expressed to a friend of mine who we always talk about, like all these superhero shit and whatnot. When you think back of like Marvel comics proper, yeah, it's pretty all over. It's it's all over. Yeah, and the thing is that people are forgetting is that this is now yeah. starting to transition into comic book style. Yeah, where. Well, we openly choose which issue of superhero you wanted to read. You right, didn't read right. all of them because they right. eventually collectively started. It's, it's, it's right. funny that people start picking and prodding and all that stuff. And like you do realize that's different versions of that same exactly, character. Exactly. Exactly. So and they get mad that they don't get it right. I'm like, yeah. what are you talking yeah. about? So like right. I know right now with She-Hulk, I, I, fr- I actually I enjoy love the, it. I enjoy I the show She-Hulk. too. I think it's hilarious. And people are like, yeah. Really the good. CGA and, sucks. Yeah. That, cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's no, it. Oh, okay, that's yeah. it. <laughs> and they're like, oh, I hate that. It's like Dude. making these characters in the comedy. Well, they told you that this right. show is going to be a comedy. My biggest issue is like they, they everyone hates that like 
twerking post credit scene. Oh my god! But I know. but when they did uh, Captain or uh, Captain America and Winter Soldier, or uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier, and they had what's his name uh, do a dance. Oh, Zemo. Yeah, they yeah. had Zemo do a dance Zemo? thing, and then they came oh, out with, like Here. a YouTube yeah. video I'll, of him dancing I'll do for like you twenty one better. minutes. People loved it. I'll do you one better. Tobey Maguire in Spider-Man 3. <laughs> okay, I actually hated it. I fucking hated it. Okay, to be fair, Spider-Man 3 is the worst movie ever that made is of true. all time. That is yeah. true, but I'm just saying, how can that be disregarded right. and funny right. or yeah, whatever? Yeah, now ev- everybody hated right. it back then. Now right. everybody loves it. Right. And But, like, I, I you know, that's just, that's just my thing. I totally People agree. are just not seeing it how it was. Yeah. When it was comic books... Now, you know, back then, if you were an avid comic collector, you would usually just stick to your yeah. favorites. You you would miss the next Daredevil one. Part of it out. is definitely my petty fandom coming through of like we, me and my girlfriend really loved Scarlet Witch, the right, the, right. the sh- WandaVision. We yeah, loved it. Was WandaVision was good. Yeah, yeah. It, was, no, it, was it was so really good. good. And I, Scarlet I Witch is it. her favorite. I love Vision. The transition between I love those characters. Time frames. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I yeah. just didn't like, I don't know, I felt like they kind of turned her into a little bit of a, like a token character of just like turned her from See, right. I, I kind of liked seeing her as the bad guy the villain yeah, for me it was a surprise be, like more justified in it yeah but you know the fact that she was the main focus but it wasn't her movie right right like it's you got to see her do more powers and if it was her well, own movie same. it would have been like she has to go through a struggle first and sometimes i like seeing an op character right, right. because that was you. her full potential i get you well did yeah. something ha- th- didn't something similar happen to when uh the new X-Men movie came out with the Phoenix. Was it the Phoenix? Something yeah, Phoenix? Yeah. The, God, that movie sucked. Yeah, Where uh, Jane re- was reborn or whatever. Yeah, and Jean Grey. But it's like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Which I didn't in watch. the animated X-Men. You're not missing the, much. The always last, bugged last, me. Last, last okay, because you remember it's X-Men bad. 3, The Last Stand? That was a was, Jean was Grey, Dark Phoenix thing. Yeah, exactly. Right? So and You know what? I actually kind of like I know that, that, that I'm like sucked. rare in that, but yeah, I, I know it's like, probably unpopular. I kind of like X Men Three Last Stand. Yeah, and then the bad, Dark Phoenix like one it. came out was just as bad as the third one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I heard. Well, people were asking, is like, wait, wasn't uh, Professor Xavier like disintegrated in uh, X Men Three? Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. I'm like, are you guys forgetting multiverse? Here? <laughs> this well, is yeah, a different universe. What are you guys that's talking before about? Before everybody realized it, yes. No, no, they're saying it now. Every, like, every one of those up, movies is yeah. all worth Logan. They're saying he out. Popped, oh, they were doing that. Oh, yeah. He Doctor said Strange. he popped up in Doctor Strange, Multiverse oh, yeah. of Madness. Yeah, that was and actually, he popped up somewhere else. I can't remember what it was. Uh, I want to say, oh, uh, Days of Future Past. I actually yeah. did really love all of the characters the popping cameos, up in Doctor yeah. Strange. That yeah. was dope. I, I didn't have a problem with that. And that's what I mean. Though. Almost everyone else's criticism of the film had to do with mainly Wanda's motivations right. and the like, abrupt bringing mm-hmm. up of these random-ass characters. M- most of my issues was with America Chavez. The whole own... like. The whole premise of the film was her not being able to control her powers, and then all of a sudden, Doctor, like, they get to the moment where like she Some has to, speech. yeah. And then Doctor yeah. Strange is like, "You've had it in you the whole I mean, time." The thing like, is, it's like, like, would you have a cheesy nineteen? How many people? Yeah, how many people would have been <laughs> mad that that would have been a two part movie? And yeah, unfortunately, that's what be, happens. They just with need to come up with something more clever to like. I, you know what? Like, at this point, I feel like everybody would be pissed off, with no matter what you do. That's true. No, that, totally, that, uh, totally, and that's why I say like. P- those people are mad about other things. Yeah. I'm only mad about yeah. that right. thing. I yeah. didn't like that. Yeah. I didn't no, like that. I, I think but overall I lo- it opens up the 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 ga- You know, just Spider Man is the one that like really opened it up. Oh, that one amazing. was just an amazing. Loki, movie. the best. Just Loki it, so technically good. is the official. I is I think Loki. the official one that See, opened I, up the multiverse. Popular opinion. I hate Loki. I, no, I Loki, hated Loki that. was really good. So I hated that so series. Here, here's the thing that's bugging me. Loki, I like everything but Doctor the second Doctor <laughs> Strange. I really so, do. Guardians two sucked. Guardians two. What? Guardians two. Uh, sucked. I, right. I didn't like. I didn't da- like it. Daddy son issues. Anyway. Daddy issues. Anyway. It was so good. First, yeah. first and, and second. Really, Thor I don't like Chris Pratt, and I like Guardians two. <laughs> First and second Thor, I didn't like. But anyway, continue. Yeah. Like, let's so go. Loki. Oh, first and second. First and second. Yeah, Loki. Okay, that's understandable. Let me finish. This is what happens when we get there. Anyway, yeah. so yeah. Anyway, officially, Loki's the one that opened up that door to mm-hmm. multiverse madness. Mm-hmm. So Spider Man into the Spider Verse or whatever they're called. He's the one, like that. That show made all these other shows available, but people keep like putting them side by side on what it. Kind of like the snap. They don't snap. They put they put all the clips side by side to see like the timeline. They're trying to do the same thing with multiverse. I'm like, no, 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 no. Everything, everything. Everything regarding the multiverse happened after Loki show. 
Yeah. And people are getting that confused. Like, no, that's yeah, when Kevin that's Feige when you said that. Yeah. Yeah. People are people thinking it was the Thanos snap? Yeah. No, no, no. Thanos snap is just an example of how oh, they're putting okay. it side by side. Okay, I think yeah. it is getting to a point where casual audiences can't keep up as well. And I honestly, yeah. selfishly, I just want to be like, well, suck it up. I really don't care, you know? Well, like, well at that point we just from, have, yeah. from a monetary standpoint, they right. need to yeah. bring general audiences yeah. back into the loop but from a like diehard fan standpoint i don't give a shit i hope right. they get well, super deep with it well that's the, that's how again going back to comic books if you start reading one now you just have to accept the fact that this is where you're starting yeah that's right. it exactly. yeah, right. you know there's a dc marvel crossover between yeah. batman and yeah like, there's been one yeah, yeah. yeah. or yeah, there, there's, there's, been there's like like there's like video games too there's like a batman <laughs> and uh wolverine version marvel dc was like mm-hmm. the best fighting game no any, yeah. Oh, DC versus Mortal Kombat. It was very. Oh, that was a good. One. The only thing I didn't like about that that wasn't like full on Mortal Kombat. I know. They I had a, they the had Mortal Kombat, the Warner Brothers one. Oh my God! Can oh, we no. briefly talk about the new Mortal? Are you Kombat? I like that. One. I actually how, like that. One. Oh my God! The new character is so bad. Scorpion. No, no. What? I didn't like the new character, but the I like new the character, the, movie. the new main the new guy, guy? Yeah, the yeah, with the gold yeah. suit. Oh my god, yeah. the, the the literal yeah. plot armor. Yeah, <laughs> 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 he was just like he's thrown in there, huh? His power. God, what's is his name again? Literally plot armor. And with plot armor, what's his name again? I forget his name. I mean, and he it was shot at Goro. Like, yeah, come dude. on, man. He's so lame. Like, the main, he was. I lame. actually really liked the design of the film. Mm-hmm. I was so pumped for the film. I enjoyed watching. Watching I, but the it twice main and it's good. character is so bad. Mm-hmm. He's so awful. I was hoping they just kill him off in a way to revive yeah. Scorpion. Like, and I feel bad because the actor's good. Like, he's fine. It's just like the choices they made were just it was, awful. You know what? They they took a lot of creative di- uh, uh, choices to do it, yeah. and I think it was it was good enough. And I really enjoyed the movie, dude. I enjoyed watching it because the Scorpion character. Was freaking awesome. No, dude. That dude was a I mean, badass. I was hoping the whole who movie was like that Scorpion. guy. Who that was, guy was awesome. Who wasn't waiting for a Scorpion Sub Zero fight? Get over I mean, here, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody was waiting sequ- for that, that's, and now that was now the we're best. Just, now we're just waiting for the sec, the next one to mm-hmm. have uh, Sub Zero as a good I guy. I think the first one sucked so much. So I don't think there will be a second. One. I really don't think there will be. No, they're creating the second one already. Okay, are yeah, they? they are. Yeah, they're doing. God. They're doing the second one. Just get rid of the main guy. <laughs> no, no, no I, that, that, I agree with you. Like I was saying, why don't you just? Oh, he has the same bloodline as Scorpion. Yeah, yeah. Sacrifice him, right. and you bring Scorpion back there. It also didn't make sense when they were like, when he like the whole reason he went to go train was to like protect his family, and then they were like, they were like, oh, you failed. Go back to your family was, where the they're going to like draw. Like yeah, it was he, like. Literally, it, that's it how he so killed Goro is because he got plot armor. Yeah, it was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> that that aspect of it was just so, so bad. Oh, man. All right. Well, <laughs> speaking think, of games. Yeah. I'm happy for you that you have a, a wine. Sure. Yeah, dude, and I really like that. And I, I really wrote, like this temper. I, I am going to get one of those when I see it next time. I, Absolutely. I, I'm a, you know, I say this all the time. I'm a lightweight. So Me I, too. you know, I've been just nursing it. I'm a, I'm a huge. Oh, I am player. too. I just don't care right now, so I'm drinking. Yeah, well, I mean, this is your house. I mean, you. you just I'm not home. too far. <laughs> yeah, you're not too far. I, I have was to just going to ask, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> you're in a you're in a garage. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do not confuse these with a different site. You might is have seen them. Door on. behind the curtain there. You don't know. No, there's no door back there's there. there. No. No, there's some apartments that like the door leads into the house. Got we it. we were unfortunate to get one of the detached garages. Got it, got it. That makes sense. Which bugs me because I wish we did. Yeah, but it does cost more money to get one like that. I was just so confused when I walked in. I was like, "Is this a store?" I thought I was in a storage unit. It's super cool. This is dope. Like, yeah, well, it, um, I mean, your setup is sick. Thanks. Took took some time. Took some money. Took yeah. some trial and error, and then so I finally. You bad. know what's funny? It's the more expensive stuff that actually works. <laughs> I bet. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I keep trying like small things here and there. I'm like, nah, I don't need that little cheap ass lamp. I need actual like studio yeah. lights. Yeah, yeah, it's probably one lights. of the best things. Eventually, that. I'll have a big studio light above us because mm. right now we're using the garage right, light. Right, right, right. But right. we'll have one like bulb. I always struggle with the the studio lighting stuff and the various things I've been on because I always wear a hat and I always just feel like it makes me well, yeah, like see, I'm like well I like the hat because I'm like, like thinning up here yeah me too yeah. I just like I a hat so my, my hair is just my not hair. done right now I just kind of have a <laughs> thing going on you here. have hair I, I have hair. About the central <laughs> coast I, I'm gray though I'm getting gray though you know I was I was uh, I was looking at my chest hair gray 
gray chest hair. I'm gray I'm and there. crazy. I love it. I actually love it. I hope I go full gray. I saw somebody yesterday at Beer Fest. Yeah. I, I keep saying, actually, I keep actually saying beard, beard, <laughs> beard Fest. Beard Fest. There beard. should be. <laughs> there should be a there beard, should beard be. Fest. <laughs> I'm sure there is, man. I'm sure there is. But uh, yeah, Beer Fest. I always feel really good about my beard. Like, oh man, I got like a pretty solid beard. And then I go to like a beer festival and I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah, my t- beard yeah. sucks. And then, There's uh, some crazy but dudes there was out there. a dude there that had like the most epic beard ever and it was just pure white. Oh, and so he looked like a wizard. And it was like down to here and it was like so perfectly shaped and manicured and I was like, oh man, I want that. That's, where you're going that's for. what I want. That's what you're going for. When so I'm 70, that's what I'm going to have. I'm going to have the most epic white ass Santa beard. Walking around with the freaking cane. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. shall not, not pass. pass. Yeah. Speaking of which, I'm in the middle of the, I'm, as soon as I get home, the Rings I'm of Power. Finish. No, I'm watching, <laughs> I am watching Rings of Power and it, I'm it's so actually pretty good. stoked on it. Yeah, yeah I love it it's that funny. now I'm, I'm watching uh, The Hobbit, which is uh, so bad. Man, it is bad. I forgot how bad it is. They were trying to make money. Yeah, Yeah, but it's like, I know if I watch Lord of the Rings, I'm not going to go back and watch The Hobbit. So you got to watch The Hobbit first. And it's it's kind of a tough time. It is. You just need a new episode of Rings of Power. It's so good. I know. Any uh, you got any shout outs? Oh yeah, any shout outs? Wanna, you wanna, um, I know your business just, partners. You just want to Tommy. Talk? Tommy at Wine Boss has been. Um, I mean, obviously you know because you're doing a, a similar thing with him. But yeah. Tommy at we had Wine him on Boss the show is. Too, uh, so. I know you guys yeah. did. I listened yeah. to the episode. I've listened to a few episodes. I really like awesome. you guys' Thanks. show. Thank you. Um, but. Uh, but yeah, definitely Tommy at Wine Boss is a huge shout out for me. Slow Brew um, is a great, great brand. They they're doing really right by me, right by a lot of people that work for them, and they're doing great stuff with the community. We partner with the Slow Food Bank for a lot of events. Awesome. We do it's a good. lot of stuff with the community, and then uh, SideQuest Sellers. You can uh, purchase SideQuest Sellers on WineBosses.com, WineBossPasaRobles.net, I believe actually. Oh, oh. Is it dot com now? I'm pretty sure it's dot com. Uh, it's not, not, it's not, I think you got dot com. Right, guys? I keep yeah. asking him, like, are you going to get we, past we're, we're, uh, we're, starting from the bottom. Wow, I'm rolling Goodbye. <laughs> started from the bottom, now we're I, I guess he wanted to leave. I'm pretty sure he used to be a dot net. If he's okay. now a dot oh. com. I hope he is. I, I, that's, that's pretty that's, awesome. That's what I've been promoting. So. For sure, yeah. We can probably, we can if probably so, you can cut all that. We can plug it in. We'll put a link in. But yeah, plug it in there. Wine Boss, um, huge shout out. Slow Brew, Rottenhammer Slow Stills um, are my other shout outs. And then, yeah, my business partners, um, Julie is my girlfriend. And then Zach and Zoe is the other couple that we that we make wine with and do everything with. He is a really interesting character. You guys will definitely have to have him on at some point. He works oh, for... Without a doubt. Yeah. In Vino Veritas, mm-hmm. um, Vintner's Vault in Paso, they provide like all the chemicals and all the equipment for like every winery in town. Oh. So Tommy runs into him all the time at various events and different things all the time. But um, Zach is just the the funniest, most interesting guy, um, and he's got lots of lots of funny, quirky stories to talk about for sure. So if you guys awesome. ever get a chance, we should have yeah. uh, we should have Zach on here too. Yeah, and uh, he can he can throw him back a little better than me too. So. <laughs> I'm 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 also very much a lightweight. I'm going on my this is my second glass, and I'm like I got. This stop is still right my now. first, so and I'm like I have the yeah. We'll, we'll chat after yeah. the show just to make sure we're yeah, okay. But yeah, yeah. Most but anyway, we got our little. Thanks, Max. Thanks, thanks a lot. So uh, Chris Sully. special. This is a lot of fun. Thanks for bringing of all course. that and showing it to everybody. I am very excited for side quest sellers. I'm definitely gonna pick up one of those because. Having this one, I really liked it. So 100%. Thank really you guys good. so really, much really for really having good. me. This was and, of course, don't forget Miguel's lights, camera, action. Absolutely. It's all right. cameras now. <laughs> I, actually did, I actually did a little slogan on our last recorded what one. What was so. the slogan again? I forgot already. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, direct your own life? No, no, no. What was it? Like what was what? it? Uh, Jesus Christ, I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, it should have been uh, recorded. <laughs> we d- it did record. Oh, we did. Our last, oh, yeah, our last, our, yeah. our, our, We're going to look it up. We're going to look it up, but it's... Uh, uh, yeah. With light, uh, be a director of your own movie. Yeah, yeah. Right. With lights, camera. Right. I love yeah. that. Anyway. I feel like there's so many great little puns you but, can come up with there. Oh, oh yeah, there's definitely. plenty. Same I mean, with, if you're having, oh, a, we'll if, talk about more cycles. If, if you're having too. a bad <laughs> Netflix and chill. <laughs> 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 All right, see you later, guys. You guys yeah. know where to find us. Thank like, subscribe, visit all this stuff. Sidequest sellers, slow brew. Give us likes, subscribes. Peace out. Say hi to your mother. Boom boom.